Hey Optimancers, Chris here. So I recently hit 50,000 subscribers and I thought as a way to celebrate that, that I would do a one shot at level 20. Uh, and I invited my friends Monty and Kelly from the Dungeon Dudes and Colby from D4 Deep Dive and Eric from Fry Minis to join me for a 20th level one shot. Uh, so I came up with an adventure for the 20th level characters and I am going to be showing it to you here. And I will also be adding in some visual aids so that you can see some of the behind the scenes stuff. And also, if you want to see the characters that they were playing, I'll be posting links in the video descriptions to each of their character sheets. So take a look at my 20th level one shot. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed, all 50,000 of you. Well, hello there. My name is Monty Martin. Are we doing? I guess. I'm, I guess we are. I guess and I'm we're... Kelly McLaughlin, Mr. Q. Uh, I yeah. I just thought I just thought Chris was going to kick it off. Oh boy! <laughs> All right. Well, we're the Dungeon Dudes, and uh, we are playing tonight to celebrate our very good friend Chris of Treant Monks Temple, who has just reached fifty thousand subscribers on Woo! YouTube. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's that's really awesome, and uh, we're so excited to get to play with you. Well, thanks. I really appreciate it. And uh, we are also joined by Eric from Fry Minis, and from Colby or Colby from D Four Deep Dive. Uh, yes. And, uh, Howdy. Uh, you you're all like friends of mine, so it was <laughs> nice to get together with yeah. all of you to to play a game. This is um, like the great coming together of uh, multiple amazing YouTube channels, and it's 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 fun. And me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Ouch! Oh, come on! Um, oh, we're gonna have some fun tonight. What? Are, what? Are, yeah. What's? Uh, so we've all rolled up some twentieth level characters, and and Chris is gonna uh, smash her faces. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll see. We'll see. Yes. My goal is to survive to the third encounter. Ooh. Anything beyond that, I'll feel like it was a success. My goal is to remember any and all any abilities really. That I'm I have with Kelly or, or on a this single one. spell. Yeah. Uh, what I hear online sometimes is that uh, the game falls apart at a certain level, um, and so I figured, you know, I never see 20th level streams, so I figured, <laughs> hey, let's give it a try and see what happens. If Absolutely. things fall apart, they fall apart, but uh, as long as we have fun. Yeah. Yeah. I've never played a character past 16, I think, and that was once. Oh. So jumping right in at level 20 ought to be fun. Yeah, I think this might be my first 20th level character. I've played high levels. I think Monty has taken us to level 18 uh, more than once, but that is the highest I've ever gone. Well then, if none of you have actually had an adventure at 20th level, then this old wizard will have to show you how it's done. <laughs> All right, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with a brief introduction, and then I'm going to get everybody to maybe just give a quick rundown of their characters. Um, so our characters are one of the most renowned groups of adventurers in Faroon. Uh, they have spent years traveling the Forgotten Realms and have ventured from the plains of Purple Dust to the east to the Moonshay Isles of the west. They have fought the greatest monsters and villains of the realms and boast many unlikely victories. Our heroes find themselves in Rashomon, where the party has been beckoned by the Wick Lauren, which translates to wise old women in the ancient tongue, also known as the witches of Rashomon. They beseech the party to help them with a threat they could not even hope to challenge. Shadow magic is spewing from the Vale Theater, a landmark in the town of, Malsun of Malcenter. This shadow magic seems to drain the witches of their own magical power whenever they approach. A dark cloud of shadow has formed over the town and its surroundings, causing crops to wither, and the air has become unnaturally cold. Berserkers from the Ice Troll Lodge assaulted the theater, and none have returned. The Wiglaren turned to the party, who accepted the challenge. The party notices that the air is cold, and the land seems to be in a state of perpetual night. Farmland around Malcenter is barren and abandoned, and as you enter the city, not one soul can be seen. The city has been the city has been completely abandoned. In, ahead of you is the Veil vale Theater, and above it, smoke-like shadow rises into the sky, blackening out the stars and moon. Through the windows of the theater, lamplight is visible. 
And as our heroes approach, let ha let's have the players discuss their characters in a quick rundown. Um, Monty, would you like to start? Yes, I am Prospero Midwinter. And you, Dungeon Master, tell me the skeins of fate that I divine today. Well, the one thing you did discover is that uh, you know that whoever has caused this, you will have to defeat in combat. However, they are immune to all damage, all spells, and all conditions. <laughs> so you'll have to figure that one out. No problem. Not the worst <laughs> I have faced, but certainly not the best. <laughs> The portents that I see before me cast the dice, and let's uh, let's see what the the portent dice tell me. I am a twentieth level divination wizard, so let's uh, let's roll yeah. some d twenties. We got a seventeen, we got a two, oh yeah, and an eighteen. Nice, great, very rolls. nice. Yeah, those are good rolls. <clears throat> yeah. All right, Kelly, let's hear about your character. All right, um, I am playing Maxwell Silverhammer, the uh, Hexblade Bard. Um, and yeah, my character is a 20th level Hexblade Bard, two levels of Hexblade Warlock, 18 levels of um, Swords Bard. And um, I am the one responsible for telling the great tales of the adventures that this party has gone on. I have performed many songs, written many uh, masterful stories that are told worldwide in, in every tavern across Faerun. Um, I'm quite famous, and if you haven't heard of me, you're lying. And that is my character. Um, I'm going to be accompanying these uh, fine folk to make sure that we uh, stay on track and uh, have glorious stories to tell. Uh, my main goal is to make sure that every combat encounter is as beautiful and well-described as possible um i only make sure that everybody looks their best at all times and that's what i'm here to do great all right eric tell us about your character well i'm blorp the uh bander hob paladin swamp knight of the ancients and i'm here to have a good time with my friends and i brandish my holy avenger long sword and maybe stab some new ones Stab some new stab friends. Stab your friends. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As you all look down at your scars. <laughs> yes, when we first met, he stabbed that me tracks. in the chest. Yeah. 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 That was before or after you got married. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we did recently get married with our uh, our ceremony spell. <laughs> yes, uh, Blorp and myself, we are we are married, and it's. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's in bliss. all the songs, I it, it is bliss, and you know there is a reason I call him Blorp the Handsome in all of my all of my tales. Yes, that's accurate. <laughs> and Colby, <laughs> tell us about your character. So, yeah, I I had a hard time trying to figure out what to come up with here for a level twenty character, and I've I've sort of said publicly many times that the favorite my favorite character that I've ever played in 5e was a blade singer but my favorite class is a monk and I kind of thought I can't not bring a monk to triant monks <laughs> game right <laughs> like of all the classes and it's my favorite anyway and so I was like should I go monk blade singer monk blade singer and finally I just decided I'm just going to do a blade singer monk. So yeah, that's uh, it's it's a level six blade singer, level fourteen mercy monk, uh, who goes. It's nice that you got classes where one of them gets really good thing at fourteen, and another one gets a really good thing at six. Yeah, it worked. It worked out well. <laughs> um, and 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 I knew that being you making my saving throws was going to be very important. So so uh yeah I, I kind of planned around that as it were and since you um, have a straight class paladin you have a 30 foot paladin aura indeed indeed so oh, welcome fingers crossed i won't fail any save be failing any saving throws tonight uh i i am a shadar kai monk uh blade singer who goes by the name of lire masil and um I don't know. I, th I think I'm probably the, uh, with all of these very boisterous personalities uh, in the group, I'm probably, you know, the uh, the silent brooding one. 
um, just because if nothing else, that's easier to role play on a character who I am just jumping into right at level 20. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's not waste any time here. We're going to get right into it because we've got a lot to get through. All right. So you have found yourselves at the theater. Um, you should all be able to see your tokens. Yep. yep. And you are in a front entrance way. <gasps> uh, and in front of you, you can see, at first glance, the theater shows no signs of malice. 11 rows of seats lead down to a stage 20 feet below. Walkways intersect the stairs at each five feet of descent. The theater is quiet and empty, but lit lanterns hang from the ceiling above. The ceiling is currently 20 feet above your heads, but down at the stage, the ceiling is 40 feet high. At your le left and right, balconies can be seen with additional seats, 10 feet above. The stage itself is empty, other than two props resembling plants and a drop-down screen, currently retracted. To the left can be seen a sound stage with a piano and, and brass and percussive instruments. At the back of the stage, a thick red curtain hides anything past it. Two sets of stairs at the west and east balconies seem to lead upwards. The area above appears black as night. I'm pretty sure I've performed at this theater. Really? Do you happen to know the layout of this, this dusty old place of boring tales of complete fabrication? Of course, I have no idea what the layout is. Uh, usually when I perform, I am at least 14 ales in, and I don't recall most of it. Useful as always. The snack bar is pretty nice here, though, I'll tell you that. Doesn't seem too threatening. Maybe the chairs are all mimics. I stab one of the chairs. <laughs> all right. The chair has been stabbed. <laughs> Excellent. You think it is dead? I think it is think. dead. <laughs> but just to be sure, I stab it one more time. I'm sure it's dead now. I'll take a bite of that chair, too. Again, you're welcome, everybody. Thank you, as always, hero. Maxwell. All right. The recounting what we know, the... The witches have told us that there is strange magic leaking from this theater, and the last group of people who walked in here were slain, correct? That is correct. The, the, or at least the they didn't trolls. return. They did not return. Mm. Very good. Very good. That means that they still might be alive then, which means they might be able to help us, or get in our way. <laughs> correct. Uh, <laughs> it's possible that they, they might have been turned against us. Who knows? All right, then. Very well. Then, in, in such a case, um, I am going to say it is worth us taking a moment to take stock of our surroundings. Um, and I would like to cast... Uh, um, I have my owl familiar out, but I would like to, if we can take the, take the moment to size up the situation, to at least cast Telepathic Bond on the group of us as a ritual, and uh, begin by um, surveying the perimeter of the building. Okay. Uh, so uh, you have the owl fly around the outside of the theater, and they come back and relay that they were, uh, everything seems to be empty and barren out there. Yeah, yes, but, but I, I would like to know, what, are, what is the height of the building? Uh, um, they... What is the material composition of the walls? Where are the locations of the windows? Where are the locations of the chimneys? And where are the locations of all the uh, modes of egress? I, I assume that this building has at least one other door, a stage door of some kind. There's no reason for us to take the front entrance. And is the concession stand stocked? There is a second entrance. Um, it is on the uh, north um west end of the building mm -hmm. uh a small door there that appears to enter the back area of the building and uh, what the, is the, the building seems to be constructed of stone stone uh, and you would estimate it is two floors that, that there is obviously a floor above you 
Uh, yeah, two floors, but it, it like so. So this is a, a theater. So I'm assuming that it is at least a hundred feet, two hundred feet. Like how tall is the building? Oh, it's no, it's not that tall. Um, it would be about. Uh, so let's see, we've got forty. Uh, about sixty feet. Okay. Sixty feet tall, and beyond the the other doorway. Are there any chimneys, windows, or or other modes of there egress? Is, there is. Uh, there was one chimney. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And and can can you? And, and the surrounding area is a street of a city. Yes. And there are are there. Uh, what is the what are the other buildings that are nearby this this building itself? It looks like um, you're in a market area. So you would say stores, but they've all been completely abandoned. Okay. Excellent. And there, there's no one else around in the streets. It is completely abandoned. And it is the morning. Okay. Very good. So there is the entrance around the back and the chimney. You are, right. as always, thorough, if nothing else, Prospero. <laughs> um, perhaps we ought to inspect the interior. Uh, are we already standing inside the front entrance? Yeah, yeah. There's kind of a some side right. doors um, that you know. I'll just I'll just remove them so you can see where you came in from. I, I sniff the air to see if I smell any moldy corpses or anything. You do not smell any moldy corpses. Okay, right. so we've got this Darn. kind of this front entrance area, and then the the outside. So, sorry, because because uh, people in uh, I I I realize because I'm capturing what my token can see. I have to physically move my token around to uh, to reveal more parts of the map. Correct. Yep. Okay. So I would I, I would I'd like to stealth in through the front door, um, checking for traps as I go. Okay. Uh, you can go ahead and make an investigation check. Okay. Not my strongest. All right. No signs of traps that you can see. Okay. Do you want a stealth check? Um, you're being stealthy? Yeah. Then I will need a stealth check. Okay. Yikes. I mean, even with your natural one, you're not that loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. So, yeah, I, I just kind of walk in the front door like okay. so. Uh, the So it is lit here. You think that these lanterns maybe are continual light lanterns, like they're on all the time, um, because there doesn't seem to be anyone here to maintain them. Uh, the place seems completely empty. Okay. <laughs> Um, I, you said that you cast, um, what's it called on us, right? We can speak telepathically to each other. Yes. Rory's telepathic telepathic bond. bond. Yeah. Okay. I'll say, perhaps I ought to go investigate the stage. Pragmatic. Good luck. I, I walk up next to Lee Ray and, uh, oh, and, um, for some reason, I picture I'm eating theater popcorn, but I have no idea where I got it from. <laughs> and I'm just like, in in his head, I'm like, or yeah, I'm, I'm like, are you being stealthy right now? Is that what you're trying to do? I don't even respond. Ah. I just, I, just I, give I crouch, <laughs> I crouch down, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak up too. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow the lead here and sneak up to the first row of chairs and. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know. I'm I'm waiting for something to surprise me. I, nothing I'd, seems to be happening. Yeah, I'd move that far. If, if nothing happens, I'd move to the next tier. Yeah. All seems calm. Next tier. It just seems like an empty theater. Every time you move, <laughs> I like sneakily roll up next to you. Like literally do a do a roll. And and, and you're and you're singing your own theme music like Tronk. Da, 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 da. Da -da. Da -da. Once y'all get like halfway through, I think I will start following you, le leaving some distance with my heavy adamantine plate. Mm. Okay, up onto the stage then. 
Okay, as you step on the stage, um, it, the floor does creak slightly. And you can make a perception check. Okay. I don't follow you that time. 18. Behind the red curtain in front of you, you can hear sounds. Uh, perhaps they're voices, uh, but with an 18, it is difficult to discern. Okay. Message back to the group. Let them know what I hear. Ooh. Very good. Well, in this case, um, did I mention that I, that I also wish to cast Detect Magic to just give us a quick scan? Not, okay. But, okay. Um, and I can also see, with my third eye, I can also see invisible creatures and objects within 10 feet of me. I realize that's not, I haven't really gone that far, but um, we shall see. We right. shall see. With your Detect Magic, you can determine that the lanterns are indeed the new light lanterns. Okay. Say, uh, would you like me to investigate behind the curtain? We'll see if I can find anyone who's making those noises. Uh, if you want, I, I would say, um, I would say to do it quietly. Right. All right. I'm gonna try to stealthily like come up to this point and see if I can, or I don't know. Is there like a break in the curtain that I could try to? Uh, you could, you know yeah, I mean? you could. I mean, it's a curtain, so you could sure. just lift mm. it. <laughs> is there, is there like underneath a, it if you is there like it. a break in the middle or anything? Um, yeah, probably. Okay. Probably a break in the middle, yes. Then I'd do that coming up here, and, and I'll try to stealthily peek right. behind. Um, there's my stealth chart. You do so. That's better. Okay. The area behind the stage includes dressing areas uh, and a mess of various props and toys. Two children, perhaps eight years old, are currently discussing what game they should play next. The boy wants to play knights and the girl wants to play kings and queens. The boy is wearing a costume cape and holding a toy sword and a flute. The girl is wearing a costume dress and looking in a handheld or a, a handheld child-sized mirror, admiring a locket about her neck. They immediately stop what they're doing. Oh, maybe not. They do not notice you. Sweet. So Kay. there's the little girl. <laughs> I'm creeped out by boy. by yeah. children in fantasy settings. <laughs> um, it, nothing I, good will come of this. In uh, your head, I say, I don't trust them. Maybe I, you should try punching them. Yeah, I message back to everybody what I what I see and say, should I approach or attack? I don't feel great about attacking you're going to strike a child defenseless children well, but i have a feeling that there's more than meets the eye here perhaps if you want somebody to talk to them it's better if i do it i can always eat them um and actually i'll mention to uh Lire that you actually the more you look at them you notice they're slightly transparent <laughs> okay as most Naturally. children are yeah. right <laughs> i'll say um, the they haven't fully of, formed. That's the best I'm, kind of children, the unseen kind. <laughs> I, yes, I, I am suspicious that they might be ghosts. Is that a normal thing? Do, do children grow into corporeal forms, or is that more an unusual thing? Um, Human ones, we, typically, yes. <laughs> yeah, we have eggs. Yeah, me and Blorp don't have much experience with children yet. <laughs> <laughs> yet. I'm awaiting instruction. Attack or converse? Uh, would... Uh, hmm. Who's in charge of this group, anyway? Have we determined who our leader is? <laughs> Obviously, I am the leader. I'm, I'm the face of the party. There's a big difference between the face and the leader. You know, that like, there's, there's, there's Hannibal, right? And there's face. I'm 18 illusion, for those who aren't with me on this one. Um, <laughs> and, you know, there's a difference. Um, well, I consider myself the leader of and course, face naturally. Of yes, yes. I think I'm looking to Prospero for 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 guidance. <laughs> me too. Looking, looking to me for guidance. <laughs> mm. Yes. Well, we'll see before you live to regret that. I'm afraid. <laughs> <laughs> That's, this is one thing that I've seen. It's been your death, and it is not pretty. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes, uh, from I've, years traveling with Prospero, I I've, would I've, highly 
suggest not listening to him. Mm. I've, <laughs> I've made I've made peace with my mortality. The difficult you thing have about to decide death. for yourself. <laughs> do you want right. me to talk to the children, or do you want to? No, I'm going to charge in and I'm going to attack them because I want to. I want to get surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm t- I'm saying like I can go in and talk, and then you just run, you just run. I do believe that Maxwell should at least talk to these ghost children. It's two ladies punching them uh, already. Yeah. All right. So you are charging in. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Um, it's great. We don't need to roll initiative since this is exactly how attacks, I saw it. So you go ahead and attack. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna make. Boy, they both look very surprised and Good. scared. I don't waste a good meal. I'm going to make... Oops, I wasn't supposed to click on that one. I'm going to make one staff attack, and we'll see what happens with my staff of power. You have oh. critical <laughs> oh. of the, the young boy. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see. So I need to roll this plus um, another D8, right? We're truly the heroes of the realm. <laughs> And I I'm changing hope- your, your character's alignment to evil. Yeah. <laughs> hey, they look like ghosts. Come on. Already. Okay. Aren't all ghosts are evil. Uh, so yeah, I, yeah, what's that? You have hit him for 15 <laughs> points of damage. He is crying and screaming and begging you to stop. Okay. I will stop. Um, and, and I'll just be like, oh, uh, I apologize. I, you, you, you look like a ghost. I, we heard that this place was cursed. What's going on? I, I am a ghost. I'm I'm going to burst into the room. Yeah, yeah. I think we all run in. Pardon the intrusion of my friend here. He's a little um, gung ho with his fists and stuff. The boy is crying. Um, there, there, child. And I, I put my hand through his head in an attempt to. to... Actually, uh, you touch him, and he seems solid. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I thought you said you were a ghost. Yeah, yeah, I can I can kind of be solid. I well, think I'm a ghost. I'm not sure. I'm definitely dead. Right. What's the story here? Who yes, are you? I must have been confused in my visions because I was quite certain that this was the version of reality where you my, were responsible for the death of the child. My name is My name is <laughs> Bondar. Uh, that's my sister Semith. Uh, yeah, I don't know why we're still here, because we died a while ago. How uh, did you die? Well, Mom took over running the theater. I don't I don't know how long ago before I could remember. We live in a... We live in a house down the street, but ever since the shadow person, we can't seem to leave. It feels like we've been stuck here a long time. The, the shadow it's person? Blood. It, it's hard to keep track of how long, but a while back, Mom told us to stay here and play, and she was going to work on setting up for a show uh, that night. Uh, she was out there, and he points to the stage behind the curtain, um, where when when we heard this sucking sound, Mom screamed and got dark all of a sudden. We tried to run away, but there was nowhere to go. It started getting really cold, really cold and dark. I remember falling down and feeling sleepy. Uh, it didn't hurt, not like not like that. And le- that what just happened. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I remember waking up again, and I wasn't cold anymore. It was still dark, but I could see in the dark. Mom was there, but it wasn't Mom. She seemed mean. I mean, she looked like Mom, but her eyes were angry and all black. She stepped back out onto the stage, and we heard that sucking sound again. Suddenly the lights came back on, and when we looked, Mom was gone. Ever since then, we stay here. We want to go home, but every time we get close to outside, it feels really bad, like we can't go. Sometimes scary things seem to show up and wander the theater. We make sure to hide when they come, but they they always seem to be looking for us. We've gotten really good at hiding, though. When we're scared, we can make it so we can't be seen. We always know when the bad things come looking for us because things change. What's the name of your mother? Um, Hang on just a moment. Is it Tiamat? 
<laughs> We've already fought Tiamat three times. I know. This is a multiversal version. Oh, I don't know. Won't stay dead, that mm. stupid dragon. Uh, Lee Ray, what I gathered from the story is uh, that you hurt this child worse than its own death. <laughs> <laughs> and in my defense, he seems to have died in his sleep. So, mm. I mean, it wasn't in, in, really... Indeed. In, in this he version says, of reality, the theater oh, no! burned down and the children Here died. Here they are again! Lee Ray, in the stories, I will skip this um, part. And uh, <laughs> as as he says that and screams, the lights become dim. And approaching down the suddenly, there's the whole place looks different, somehow decrepit. Um, and there's webbing everywhere. And you see four spiders that seem to be made of pure shadow heading Ooh. towards you. And uh, the boy and girl scream and turn invisible. And as for the rest of you, please roll initiative. Ba -ba -ba. Shadow creatures, don't worry. I can take care of these. Oh my god, you might roll. All right. Oh. <laughs> Either crits or crit fails. That's all I'm good for tonight. Oh, wow. <clears throat> <laughs> Very good at hitting children. <laughs> <laughs> Lee Ray. And the yes, savior all of these the spiders children. have the following feature. Lonely spider. Spiders oh. have terrible social skills, and this <laughs> creature is sadly alone. As such, as it has great hatred for anyone who has found happiness. It gains plus two on attack rolls against anyone who has been married within the past seven days. <laughs> this was a setup. <laughs> dirty, um, dirty DM homebrew. Wait, how recently did we get married, at, Lord? Yes, at, at this point, my, my question for Max Within Lord the last is, seven days. Um, no. do, you have, do you have any buyer's remorse? All right, um, so if I could get everyone to roll initiative. Oh, you have. Uh, okay. I'm happy so to re-roll it, though. <laughs> yeah, please. Let me add you in. And just so you know, for next time, if you've got your token selected when you roll initiative, you'll automatically go onto the uh, initiative uh, uh, tracker. Thanks for the tip. Oh, well, I better re-roll in that case just to make it easy on you. <laughs> All right, so Lyre, you had a six. And Maxwell, um, what was Maxwell's? 14. 14. And Prospero? An, I believe that's a 9. 9? And Blorp? Also a 9, but surely the uh, Prophet would go first. Uh, nope, because B is before P. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe in common. All right, so the first creature to go is one of the spiders and it it looks like a large spider it's about the size of a, a large dog except it is uh seems to be completely made of shadow i moved myself purely because i wouldn't have been standing on the stage still <laughs> okay i hope that's okay I, have, I think that will be all right having been been talking to the children i assume that i was in the room with them I was right. keeping distance from the weirdos. <laughs> Loose to there. And it spins a one. Spins a web of shadow Ooh. Uh, with, with, <laughs> in a space within five feet of it. Uh, and that web of shadow is going to be right... There. Uh, and you, uh, dark vision does not see through this darkness. It then moves there, and it is multi-attacking. Nice. And it may make a bite attack or a grapple attempt. It will make a grapple attempt against Blorb. <sighs> against Blorb. Ooh, that's a bad roll. Yep. I easily parry this little bug. Well, let's see. I need an athletics or acrobatics check. Oh, yeah. That's how that works. <laughs> I easily parry. Yes, you do. <clears throat> All right. Maxwell. Um, Maxwell is going to rush forward next to Blorp, his beloved. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, and I am going to cast Spirit Guardians. Uh, obviously designating my friends to not be affected. And as I draw my cursed sword, because I'm a Hexblade, um, and it ignites with fire, little fiery spirits start flitting around me. And um, yeah, they're going to mess with uh, these spiders, and I'm going to protect my friends. Are the ghost children your friends? Uh, you know, for now, yes. I feel bad for them because they were beaten with a <laughs> magic staff for no reason. I had plenty of reason. It was just, I was incorrect in my Again, reasoning. I, I'm omitting this, this from the songs. You will be the hero of the children in the songs I sing. Appreciate that. I wonder what else you've left out from our tales. All right. So it was a what, what level Spirit Guardians? Um, I'm, I'm just going to cast it at regular old third level. Okay. Do you want to just go ahead and roll the damage right now? And then I'll know what damage to apply on each turn. That'll be 17. 17. Nice. Wow. Okay. <coughs> All right. Uh, anything else on your turn? Um, you know, yes. I'm going to give... Because I've ran up to my beloved Blorp, I'm giving a Bardic Inspiration that is a D12 to Blorp. Thanks. Right. Feels okay. nice. The Shadow Spider here is going to dash. There. Mm. Oh. <laughs> uh, this one begins in Spirit Guardians. So it is going to make a Wisdom save. Uh, I assume that makes it. So it'll take... <laughs> However, it appears to be vulnerable to radiant damage. Hurrah. Nice. Um, and I don't know why that same spot. I must have rolled that spider's initiative twice. No. I maybe just moved the wrong spider last time. Uh, okay. Let me just verify something. Yeah. Kelly, is your bardic the just like the regular bardic oh, for me? Okay. Um, yeah, I think that they're, let's, let's see, just yeah, regular. I think I do have, oh yeah, that's something I have to do. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. regular. Thanks. So this spider back here, uh, is gonna, is it going to hit the spirit guardians? I think it is. And it's going to have to dash, but it will get to there. Um, and it will make a wisdom save. The, the one that moved up to me would also have taken that damage right on entering no it, it was able to go around ah I, I measured that out all right oh yeah 15 feet and that's right this one blorp you can also use it if you cast a spell that restores hit points or deals damage you can add it to that as well wow. thank you yeah, no problem. and it dashes to there mm. stop avoiding my spirit guardians <laughs> there's a there's a curtain in the way do you want to turn your aura uh, on and roll 20 for it? I can, can I do can that. Take care of that. That's oh, what the, the big circle. Can you see the big circle? Oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, uh, wonderful. So, so cool. Sure, sure. Right. <laughs> well, the one that uh, uh, came after me, you know, I'm going to go after it. So I'll, I'll pull out my Holy Avenger and my shield and take a swing. That will hit. I hope so. <laughs> uh, and then my radiant. Which it is vulnerable to. Yes. All right. Second swing. That will hit. Ooh, pretty good. And six. And then I'm going to try to knock it over mm -hmm. with my with my bonus action all right it'll make an athletics check 18 33 it is fallen prone get this one or i'll have to eat it later why and not both the end. <laughs> end of anything turn. else that's okay. it prospero all right 
Um, so looking at these creatures, are they corporeal in nature, or are they incorporeal in appearance? They they are corporeal. Corporeal in appearance. Um, <clears throat> surveying them up, um, do these? Uh, um, it, it, can I can I tell anything about them? Um, in 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 with with um, or identify these I'll, creatures. I'll, I'll give you way. I'll give you an Arcana check to gain a little bit of information. Can, can I interrupt? I'm sorry. If if uh, if those are undead or fiends, my holy avenger would have done extra damage. Were they? They, they are monstrosities. Okay. Sorry. Uh, it'll be a DC twenty on the Arcana check. Okay. Ah, oh well. <laughs> uh, you skipped over the the uh, shadow spider chapter in that book. You read. <laughs> Very well. Let's uh, let us let us just simplify this situation for a moment, then, and make it uh, a little bit more straightforward. I turn to the two spiders that are surrounding uh, 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 my friend. Is it Lear? Lyre. Lyre. And I will upcast Banishment with a 5th level spell slot on the two of them. Mm -hmm. Alright, Charisma saves. And uh, what's your DC? My spell saving throw DC is... Oh my god. <laughs> uh, 23. <laughs> they cannot succeed. Alright, so they disappear. Nice. Uh, I'm just going to put them to the side just in case concentration is broken. Be on with you! Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. Nice move, Prospero. Thank you. They'll be back Prospero. shortly. We'll still have to put put an end to them. <coughs> Lyrae. All right. I am going to use my bonus action to start my blade song. Okay. And then I will run up here and make some attacks against the prone oh. spider. Um, thus, um, I don't know how to do this with advantage. So I'm just going to roll twice. Okay. That's a hit. <clears throat> okay. Um, for this much damage. Okay. And then I will make a second attack. Um, but this time casting a uh, booming blade when I do, uh, so uh, the 20 is a miss, so let's roll again. Yep, you hit. Okay. Um, and so that's going to be this plus booming blade, booming blade. You can save right the there. booming blade because you have killed it. Oh. oh. All right. Awesome. Anything else? Um, nope. I've used my bonus action, so um, not until next time. Great work. All right. So this one is banished. Maxwell. Maxwell, uh, holding up his flaming sword, is just going to uh, attack this other spider next to him. Okay. A 20 is a miss. 20 is a miss. <laughs> I think you were darn close. Uh, well, it is a good thing I get to attack a second time. Does, is a 30 a miss? A uh, thirty is a hit. <laughs> Hooray! Um, I should certainly hope not. <laughs> Looks like seventeen damage. Yeah, seventeen damage, and um, I'm going to use my telekinetic feat as a bonus action to try to pull it in front of me so that Blorp can also be in range of it. Uh, you. It Telekinetic only pushes or pulls. It doesn't go sideways. Well, what would a push or a pull look like in this case? Well, a pull wouldn't look like much since you're practically touching it. Uh, a push would be five feet right to there. Ah, maybe I won't do it. Can I? Hmm. Okay, metagaming. Push it away and then step back so that when it moves up to attack, it'll take uh, some damage. Right. Um, right? <laughs> All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to okay. push it away with telekinetic. You have succeeded. And then I'm going to... Uh, I guess that, that leaves Prospero open, and I don't want that. Although Prospero's... Don't worry about me! All right. I step... 
over no over here. It's still okay. in, it's still in the area. If you want to if you wanted to force it to move into the area of your aura, you'll have to move a little bit more map though. All right. Boom. There you go. All right. Uh, the shadow spider. Yeah, it's gonna move in. It moves in right to there. So go ahead and roll that spirit guardians damage again. I will. Hey, uh, does a twenty make the save? Yeah. Okay. My my uh, DC's nineteen. All right. Let's see a damage roll. Fourteen. And it spins a web of shadow right here. Then moves here and attempts to grapple Cuspero. Very good. Um, I oh sorry, I was going to silvery barbs it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, uh, it has not succeeded on a uh, check yet. Uh, you go ahead and make your, your check. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, all right. I have to, what do I have to roll? I'm sorry. Uh, either acrobatics or athletics, whichever is higher. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's see, old man. 22, yes. So he has now succeeded. So you wish to Silvery Barbs? Uh, yes. All right. Who would you, are you giving advantage to? Uh, I will give advantage to Blorp. Okay. <laughs> we will re-roll. And you've succeeded. Nice. <laughs> Silvery Barbs OP. He is unable <laughs> to grapple you. Blorp, finish him off. Oh, yeah. I step forward and stab, stab, stab. Uh, so Colby in D and D Beyond, if you right click the number, you can click advantage. Thank you. So my advantage roll. Oh, almost a crit. Almost a crit. Hit. Okay. And there's my radiant. Ooh. Uh, that's it. That's it right there. All right, I guess we're done with this whole adventure. And as the last spider is defeated, a sucking sound can be heard, and an ominous portal appears behind the stage. Is that your mother? Where did the ghosts go? Um, <laughs> and as it That's appears, rude. the theater goes dark. Ooh, spooky. Blind sight, 10 feet. And hang on just a moment. Is this one of those interactive plays that I've heard so much about? Ah! Like, a, like a choose your own adventure, like a uh, like a role playing game or something. A night at the theater. I love a night at the theater. Theater. <laughs> Demeth and Bondar, you've been very naughty children. Didn't I tell you not to talk to strangers? I told you it was. And you, heroes of the realms, indeed. I don't see heroes. I see frightened little bunnies. But you know what fear is? But don't worry. I'll show, or you don't know what fear is, but don't worry. I'll show you. Prepare to have your worst nightmares brought to life, you might say. You'll be petrified with fear. At that, four forms form out of the darkness of the theater. They are indeed creatures of nightmares, somewhat Naga-like but their faces are especially demonic and evil. And their eyes, something about their eyes and shivers down your spine. Semith runs up to Blorth. Blorp. Mother, please don't hurt the strangers. They're our friends. Their eyes are really scary, Blorp. Really scary. Use this mirror to reflect their eyes right back at them. She hands Blorp the child's mirror she has been holding. Stand next to me and you'll be immune to fear. <laughs> well, we're within 30 feet right yeah within 30 feet all right so do you see the uh mm. item yes if you are holding the mirror as an action you can hold it towards a nightmare nega on your turn you don't know what it does and, and uh, she handed it to me speaking of which there's the negas yes all right did she call us bunnies? <laughs> Delicious. None of, us, none of us are Haragon. <laughs> and it is initiative. 
All right. Are we we're still in the same order or re-rolling? Uh, you're re-rolling. Oh, okay. new combat. That's better. <clears throat> All right. So select my token and then roll. Oh, did I? I don't know. I might not have. Oh, I thought I selected it. Uh, let's see. I've got Lyrae on there. I've got Prospero and Maxwell. Oh, I did do it. Amazing. So I will add in what? Sorry. Did you roll, uh, Eric? 14. 14. Prospero, you have one initiative. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> These are truly horrifying creatures. Let's see. Well, um, just just because I'm I'm not entirely entirely clear. Are those spiders I banished? Are they just gone? Are we just um, pretending they're just not happening anymore? Because uh, yeah, we kind of yeah, yeah. we kind of accelerated past the part where I was waiting for them to come back and us like smack. By them. the by the end of the speech, you had concluded concentration, and they are not of this plane. Okay. <sighs> okay. So they they nice. are, they're, they're gone for good. Okay. Um, well, <clears throat> these these creatures that I see uh, see before me. Mm, what what spell do I have to to deal with them? Well, we have this we have this mirror. Yes. Dang yes. it. Um, I'm very interested in what this mirror could do, and I'm very tempted to take it and see what it, what its abilities might be. Um, Semeth says, I gave it to Blorp, it only works for Blorp. Oh! Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, uh, then that is a very good thing to know. Um, in that case, uh, what I will do, um, is I think let's just start things off nice and simple and we'll we'll take a gamble on this one see if it, see if these if I I have a suspicion these creatures are going to be immune to this but um we'll try it anyways I'm going to cast hypnotic pattern <laughs> <laughs> and you are counterspelled. Ooh. Interesting. Counterspelled? I hate that. All right. Anything else? Which one um, casts the counterspell? <clears throat> this one. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, in that here. case, uh, oh, what yeah. I will just do then is... Um, I will use uh, my telekinetic uh, feet to just uh, nudge Blorp forward. <laughs> oh. Go get him! <laughs> All right, out of ideas. <laughs> All right, Blorp, go ahead and move your token one down. Unless you want to resist it, in which case, make a saving throw. And this nega right here is casting Fastball a spell. Special. Um. I would, like, um, I would like to counterspell it. Okay. You have successfully counterspelled a dispel magic. Hmm. Okay. All Worth, right. I think. This kind of nice right up. here is, uh, let's see, going to cast a spell. <laughs> Out of reaction, sorry. Mm. I, I don't, yeah, I can't do anything. Mm. Yeah, we'll counterspell it. Okay. Are we gonna? So are we gonna play this the other way around too? Are we gonna start saying we're gonna cast a spell so you you can't metagame when you're gonna counterspell us? Hmm? It's a, hmm? it's a shield. <laughs> yeah, shield a attack. Uh, yeah. Maxwell, at the start of your turn. Yeah. You can see the na nightmare nega's eyes, um, and you are within thirty feet. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. 30. Oh, they forgot to move up. Oh, you're okay. All right, go ahead. Uh, I choose not to look at their eyes. No, um, <laughs> you can't. Oh. You can't avert your uh -oh. eyes. Uh oh. Oh, there we go. 
Yeah, ooh, sorry okay. about that. That's don't know what happened. That's okay. Let me just make sure that that didn't. Uh, we just lost our order there. Just give me a sec to just rejig everybody here. Uh, where are you supposed to all be? There we go. Okay, just have to switch Kelly. Colby, Colby, Colby. I was about to go cycle, try and cycle my router, <laughs> but all of a sudden it just came back. So Okay, there we go. Uh, no idea. Now, wait a minute. Yeah, no, you are definitely out of 30 feet. Okay, so what, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to run up next to Blorp. Okay. And I'm going to... Eldridge Blast. Sure, which one? Um, we'll do... Which one hasn't gone yet? This one, this one, three of them cast spells. One of them hasn't done anything. Well, one of them cast a counter spell, uh, but the, the this one and this one haven't had their turns yet. Okay. Um, I'm going to blast this one that, um, that hasn't had its turn yet. Okay. And um, as a multi-class, how many Eldritch Blasts do I get? Uh, you'll have four. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Um, all right. Well, that's a crit. Nice. Awesome. Uh, so that's the first one. And um, I have Repelling Blast. Mm -hmm. And like I also... Uh, yeah, I'm going to push it back 10 feet. Okay. And I also have uh, Agonizing Blast. I don't know if that's included in that. That That is included. Okay, cool. Uh, here's my second one. I'm going to hit the same one. Hit again. Push and it back it again. again. Okay. And um, now I'm actually going to hit, I'm going to shoot this one at the end here. Okay. Well, That's a miss. And last one. Is a miss. All right. Well, I pushed one away. I don't know. Maybe it'll make it a little harder to get to us. All right. Lyra, you have begun your turn within 30 feet. Okay. Uh, so um, you will please make a wisdom saving throw, DC 25. Okay, so I get to add five to this. Yeah, is this a magical effect? Uh, is it magical? It's definitely not a spell. Sure. Um, I would say it's magical. Advantage. Okay, I'll take it. Well, you have made your saving throw. Yeah. So oh. you are not <clears throat> restrained. <laughs> Okay, um, for my turn, I would like to let me ask this: If I so I'm I'm I would like to cast um, Wall of Force via my Staff of Power. Okay. Um, in a ten foot hemisphere, if I were to cast it here, it would pass through both of these two, correct? And I could decide whether they which side of the wall they moved to. Right, that's correct. Okay, then that's what I would like to do. I would like to cast it here and shunt, you know, each of them together so that um, so that they're both trapped inside uh, the ten foot hemisphere of the wall of force. Okay, so we got a wall ten of foot force. radius, I should say, like like that. Yeah. Um, and as a bonus action, d had it been a minute from when I cast Blade Song last? I, with one minute duration stuff, I usually just say like, at, yeah, at the end of the combat. Okay. Then I will use Blade Song again. Okay. Um, and prepare myself. Um, I don't want to move any closer because they just conveniently got pushed away. So, yeah, that's my turn. Lorp, please make a Wisdom saving throw. Uh oh. Remember, <laughs> you still have Bardic Inspiration in case things don't go well. Thank you. You made it. <laughs> uh, wow. Let's see how this thing works. And I hold up the mirror. All right. Use an action uh, to hold the mirror to which one? Because uh, I'm not sure how the wall is going to interact. I guess it would be the, the far east one. All right. So this one. Yes. Okay. All right, so this one here, going to cast a spell, which can't be blocked. Misty steps. 
And then mm-hmm. they fill a misty step. Right. Here. That's into my spirit guardians. Yeah. Uh, so we'll do a wisdom save. Made it. Ugh. Go ahead, roll damage. Ugh. <laughs> All right. Does not seem to be uh, vulnerable to radiant. <laughs> um. And it will make a bite attack on Maxwell. It has reach. No. Ooh. I'm hiding behind Blore. That is yeah. a critical hit. Ah. Oof. All right. How much Which damage is 29 that? piercing and 77 necrotic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, um, okay. <laughs> 29 piercing. And how, 77? <laughs> 77 necrotic. Like I said, I just, I was hoping that we could get past the third combat. <laughs> where, where are all my resistances? <clears throat> I probably should have picked something that helped me in that department. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> I think the only one that would have anything to help them in that department is Colby's character. Yeah. Being a yeah. High. All right. This one back here is going to... Yeah, those that misty set. Oh, uh, sorry. Go ahead and make a concentration save. DC 52. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll do that. I'm going to roll it. I get a six. There's a six. <laughs> If you're going to miss, you might as well miss big. Well, you All get right. plus five, remember. <laughs> All right. Eleven. Eleven. Don't so, sell yourself short. This you can... Nug- nug- down here is stepping up, and it is going to attack the Ray. Okay. Uh, you can get rid of my aura, I guess, because it no longer yeah. matters. Uh, 28 to hit. Um, I will... So I'm blade singing. So I now have a 26 AC. I will cast shield. Okay. And it will miss. Prospero. All right. Let's see. The situation has changed <laughs> dramatically <laughs> since my last turn. Yep. Uh, very interesting. Um, I, I have a, a, a pragmatic question, uh, which actually I, I didn't realize. There is a curtain between the front stage and the backstage, and I'm on the other side of this curtain. How does I'm that... going to assume the curtain is drawn. You like open or closed? Close. Oh, sorry. Uh, it is. It is open. Okay. All right. So that's, is that drawn? No. Maybe that's. Yeah. That's yeah. Don't, no. You're right. Yeah. When you say the curtain's drawn, it's pulled pulled back, pulled yeah, away. Yeah. Um. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. Language. Uh. Language is okay. Um, yeah. That's why. That's why you notice the dynamic lighting has been removed from there. I see. Okay. Yeah. I understand now. Because it because it wasn't like that when we first came in. It wasn't. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, alrighty. Um, so we got these two things. So I gotta make a saving throw against this scary, scary stuff. Yeah? You do, unless you wish to avert your eyes. I got advantage. Or, or a close your eyes. If you close your eyes, you're blinded. But then you will not have to make the saving throw. Okay. Well, I got advantage, and I am, uh... I got advantage. I can't actually be frightened because I'm in the aura, uh, and I got the plus five. So I think I'm gonna do this. How do I roll with advantage on with with this thing? Right, right uh, click uh, the you number. Can, you can, yeah. There we go. Ah, nope, that did not. That... Or you could just roll twice. Yeah. Okay. That did not do what I wanted it to do. Fifteen is a fail, and a nineteen is a fail. All right, so I am. You are now restrained, and at the beginning of your next turn, you will make another save. And if you fail that one, you will be petrified. Is that 19 plus your 5? Yeah, it is uh, a 25 DC. Yeah, yeah, I would need... So, 24, uh, one, close. One, one short. I get yeah. you. Yeah. yeah, okay, so... So you are currently restrained, you can still take action, but you will be making another save at the start of your next turn. Okay, cool. Um, in this case, what I think I'm going to do um, is, I guess I'm restrained. Oh, this is tricky. Well, I don't, I really don't want to end up being 
uh, turned into stone? Is that what's going to happen to me? Petrified. That's what's going to happen to you. Yeah, that's okay. correct. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is not something that dispel magic is don't, just going to work don't, on. Don't worry. I can. I can. Dispel I can magic deal. Will not work on this. Okay. No. I can deal with petrified. Okay. You guys know this because we've been in many sticky situations. All Wizards right. are a dime a dozen. We can get another one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, well, I think in uh, in this case, uh, the the best uh, the best thing to do here then is these guys are are super super tricky, uh, and that's a that's a laugh and a half. So I think what we'll do then, <sighs> and a bunch of them all have counter spell. Okay. Um. We can't have that many spell slots, right? Right. <laughs> well, they they could, they could, and and I just yeah, and and I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to get get that to go out. Um, okay, so in that case, what I think I'm gonna do. Sorry, I'm taking. I'm being so so indecisive with with all this. Um, I think what I'm going to do then is we'll just. Uh, Use my action, and I am going to this this one that's that Misty stepped out of that wall of force. Yeah, I'm going to vortex warp it back in to the wall of force. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. <laughs> that's it fine. It's going to counterspell you <sighs> naturally. Okay. Uh, in that case, I'm just going to push it with my uh, with my telekinetic feet. Oh, I wanted that to work so bad. Mm. <laughs> yeah. No. It, it the I wasn't going to be able to do anything this turn because no All matter right. what I do, they would counterspell me. So, okay. Next, it's the one, another one in the wall of force. It is going to misty step out, and it is going to bite Blorp. Ow! Twenty-six to hit. Yeah. Eight twenty-three piercing and twenty-four necrotic. Twenty-four. And this one. You said 24 instead of 77? Necrotic. Well, yeah, because you didn't get crit. Yeah, you didn't get crit. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so our, our final line of this Nightmare Gaze feature says the Nightmare Naga is immune to its own gaze unless it sees itself reflected in the mirror of Samet, mm -hmm. in which case it must make a saving throw and cannot use legendary resistance to make the save, which is a spoiler. Uh, <laughs> yeah. If it fails, it is immediately petrified until greater restoration or similar magic ends the condition. So let's make a wisdom save. Come on, baby. It has failed, and it yeah. is petrified. Ah, nice. And Very I'm nice. going to go ahead and Thanks, kid. from the fight. Lorp, you saved us. Yeah. Well, let's That's not dead. speak too hasty. You are almost dead. I am bleeding, but <laughs> I will live, maybe. I've got lay on hands. Don't worry. Your turn. I know, honey. <laughs> I thought you said this was supposed to be PG. <laughs> uh, is it is it Maxwell's turn? Yes. Um, seeing as these nightmares are constantly counterspelling everything, I draw my flaming sword and just start smacking this injured one next to me. Got it. Twenty one is a miss. It ah. seems really, really close. Uh, uh, okay. Um I'm gonna go again. That hits. All right. Uh 15. 15. Oh, it seems resistant damage. to the fire damage. Uh stop it. Just stop. <laughs> um and then I'm going to uh use my telekinetic to try to shove it uh five feet away from me. That does not succeed. Hooray! Get away from me. All right. Oh, and uh, I'm sorry, at the beginning of your turn, did you make your saving throw? I forgot to have you make your saving throw. Oh, goodness, no. Um, which saving throw is it? It's wisdom, the, right? The wisdom. Right. This plus five. <laughs> that was one of my better saving throws. You added, you added advantage. <laughs> That's oh, right. I have right. Oh, yeah. Right, right. There we okay. go. You had made it. All right. 
Lee Ray, are you going to okay. make the save or close your eyes? I'm going to attempt the save okay. um, with advantage. Uh, did I successfully push it five feet away from me? No. Oh, no. No. That did not seem to come through. Let me try this again. Um, well, I, ha I, I, I mean, I rolled a 17 and an 8, so 30 okay. was my All best. Right. That is Plus sense. five. Um, okay, I will um, make some attacks on Nightmare Naga. This one. Okay. Um, first attack. That's a hit. Twenty-seven. Okay. For this much damage. Thirteen. And then second attack. Hit. For this much damage. 13 more. And uh, then I'm going to cast, I'm going to use Flurry of Blows and make some unarmed strikes. Um, for this much. That is a miss. Assuming that misses. And this much. That hits. Okay. And on that one, I would like to, um, to apply, apply my hand, hand of harm. Of harm. Okay. So the unarmed strike damage is this, and the hand of harm should be the same, right? It's my it's a the hand my of wisdom harm modifier. Is necrotic, though, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah, so it is immune to the damage. Okay. However, it is not immune to the poisoned condition. Okay. Yeah, I was going to say then I'd like to try and apply the poisoned condition. Does that yes, work? It Great. does. You have successfully applied the poison condition. Okay. Um. And that's my turn. Okay. Oh, or, I gotta check off. A are you point. going to close your eyes or keep them open? Uh, I'm just gonna shut my eyes and just yep. point and the mirror at the nearest, the one south of me. The one south of you. Got it. And remember, I've got ten feet of blind sight from my mm. swamp sense. Ah, very nice. So you can, so you can see it. No. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no one knows how blind sight works. All right. <laughs> right here. This one is going to attack. Um, well, it's got a restrained enemy, so it's going to attack Prospero with advantage. Okay. I will uh, silvery barbs it for disadvantage. At least cancel that out. All right. Uh, well, <clears throat> did the 22 hit to begin yeah. with? Yeah, okay. All right. So then I'll roll another attack. Yeah, it hit you. Okay. Mm. So 14 piercing, 29 necrotic. All right, so 43. Okay. Do you still get to that. give somebody advantage with silvery barbs? Uh, yeah, I will yeah. give that advantage to... I can't give it to myself, can I? I don't actually need it. Uh, so I'll give it to Blorp. Uh, no, actually, I'll give it to Maxwell. Hooray. Wonderful. You know, you could, yeah, oh yeah, it wouldn't make any difference. All right. Uh, the poisoned one. Uh, the poisoned one, what will it do? Well, I think it is going to provoke from Lyrae. Yes. Okay. Uh, that is a hit. 10 damage. It then casts a spell. I don't action. think anyone can. Yeah. Yeah, and I should have taken Mage Slayer. A I... synaptic <laughs> static Ooh. goes off. Uh, like oh. on you guys. <laughs> oh. Everyone make a DC 16 intelligence save to take half damage. Remember, we have advantage. You get plus five and you have resistance to the damage. I cannot fail this save. <laughs> no. It's an easy save, but. It's poison, so I figured it would do some AOE. Synaptic st static is psychic, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah, right. I thought you were saying poison damage. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. It's poisoned. What did we need to save? Uh, you needed a 16. Oh, cool, okay. cool, 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 cool. Okay. So at least we resisted the you have secondary twice, effect. That should be eight psychic, I believe. So eight is the... After it's halved twice? Yeah. Nice. Oh, nice. Thanks. 
Um, all right, Prospero, I need a saving throw. All Wisdom right. DC 25. Moment Return of truth. to stone. All right, with advantage, and I got to add plus five to this. There you we go. It. All right. You break the effect. <laughs> okay. Nice. You may now take your turn. Have any of these guys used their reactions? Uh, one of them counterspelled your last, but that was your last turn, so no. Okay, so I have no chance of doing anything, correct? Well, <laughs> they've, had, they've been counter, casting counterspell third level. It's just you've never spent more than third level slot, so there's never been a check. I see. Uh, so you're telling me I have to... That you're cheap with spell slots? Yes. Well, you're saying there's oh, a check. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's, there's absolutely... Yeah, there's... There's why would I use a spell slot for for a fight that we've already killed an enemy on? Um, okay, let's just see. Um, let's see here. Okay, I think what I will do in this case is do I have to save against this effect again now that I've saved against it, or is it uh, not this not this turn? But okay. next turn you will. But next turn I will. But I'm not restrained now at the start of my turn, correct? You are not restrained. Okay. You've ended the effect. Okay. In that case, I think what I'm going to do is uh, the most harmed. I'm just going to hit hit it with rage because I see no need to do anything. I don't see any. We did I, start with five potions of healing each, though. Did we? Uh, wait, wait till somebody goes down. Yeah, they're just regular potions of healing. Yeah, won't do much. yeah. <laughs> there we go. Ray of Frost. All right, thirty to hit hits. 22 cold, and yes, it is resistant to cold. This <laughs> They're resistant to everything. Okay. Worth a shot. Yep, indeed. Um, well, what I'm going to do in that case is uh, I am going to close... Uh, uh, can I use my telekinetic to close the curtains? <laughs> uh, um, can you close the curtains? Half of them. <laughs> they seem ragged. Remember I said the place has become... Um, uh, Decrepit. Okay. Uh, yeah. They so seem to be ragged. Uh, Sheer. So you're not sure they'll hold. I'll, all I'm trying to do is block line of sight to them. That's all. That's my only objective. You could move. Uh, it. They. They are also holy. You don't think they'll block line of sight? They're. They got. They're like Swiss cheese curtains. Yeah. Not holy in the sense <laughs> yeah. that they've been blessed by a divine <laughs> being. Okay. The range on this is 30 feet. Uh, whatever. Okay. Yep, that's that's fine then. I'm in I'm in that I'll just leave myself right there. Okay. All right, I'm done. All right. This one right here. Reaches over Blorp and bites Prospero. Wait, that was the one south of me? Oh, sorry. Yes, it, it sees its own reflection. And rolls a natural 20 on the saving throw. Um, I'm going to use Silvery Barbs. I was also going to, but you go ahead. <laughs> you have more spell slots than me, you. Okay, uh, I, I use Silvery Barbs. It turns to stone. Who are you giving advantage nice. to? I'll give it to um, Lee Ray. All right. Lee Ray, it's your turn. Okay. I'm going to finish this guy off. Oh, first I got to make my saving throw. Um, do, do, do. It's this not plus five. Anymore. So twenty-five. You have made it. Okay. Yes. Just barely. All right. I'm going to take an attack on this guy here. I forgot to add my booming blade last time. Dang it. Um. The, oh, and I have advantage, and I have elven accuracy. So. All right. That give counts. me that. <laughs> Oops, sorry. I did I click it three times? Four times. Anyway, four times. Too many times. So twenty-five would be the best. You you hit. Okay, and that's going to be for this. Okay. And then I'll make a second attack. This with booming blade. That hits. Okay, so it's this plus. That kills it. This. Oh man, my booming blade keeps getting wasted. It's okay. <laughs> um. All right. Yes, I'm going to step up to Nightmare Naga numero cuatro and use, um, you know what? I'm not going to spend a key point here. I'm just going to make a regular old bonus action unarmed attack. 
um, for that. 30, 20. Uh, 20 is a miss. Okay. And I will be sad okay. that I missed. <laughs> okay. And that's my turn. All right. Next up is Blorp. Hmm. Uh, Blorp realizes that he's not the smartest person here and should have looked at the initiative order earlier. And he holds the uh, the mirror up to the creature that goes immediately after him. <laughs> okay, you're just not you're just not meta gaming. That's all. Yeah, <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that. All right, and it makes a wisdom saving throw. Silvery barbs. Uh, oh, no, it okay, fails. So uh, it, it? I'll have yeah. it roll again then. <laughs> <laughs> and the Think... combat is over. Yeah. And the last one turns to stone. Were yes. they all turned to stone? No, I no, killed two of them. One them. was killed. Oh, I killed one of them. <laughs> we Again. killed one of them. That's true. I got Blorp the and his friends. Well, heroes, you have proven your bravery, but the heroes that came before you were brave as well. But their bravery did not avail them, and they fell to my power. Now they are mine, and you will find they are no longer so easily felled. Eight images appear of humanoids. They all bear the trappings of barbarians, Ah. Their faces seem contorted in I pain you, and despair. Back. And as their images solidify, uh, they appear nearly lifelike, except for the shadowy tint of their skin. Uh, so let me just put them on the map. Are, um, should uh, not, to, not to be that guy, but uh, did we want to take a break at some point? I would love um, a quick break. Yeah, would you like one before the fight? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There's yeah, a little right. bit. We'll, we'll set up and then we'll take a break. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, Barbarian appears here. 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 I've been drinking a lot of water. Here. Here. You can get rid of my wall of force. Sorry. Here. Okay. <clears throat> and. Like I said, they all appear to have kind of shadowy skin. You think they might not be alive anymore. Uh, Do or, they have any uh, bear perhaps, fur or, or totems? Somewhere between death and life. Did you um, say there were eight? I see. Yes. Uh, two, four, <laughs> not, six, not, six. Not, not too yeah. uh, not Let's to keep make it, it easy six, on us. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I chose to reduce the number because I want to streamline the game so we get done in four hours. Oh, thank we, you. Uh, Bondar runs to Prospero Midwinter, and he hands him his flute. These men came soon after the shadow came. They were fr friendly and tried to help us, but now they seem so unhappy. Music from my flute always makes me feel better when I'm sad. Maybe try that. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Interesting. Do I still have my mirror, or did that like vanish? Uh, it, you still have it, but it is no longer of any value to you, oh, right? Yeah. I drop it immediately. <laughs> Smash <laughs> it. Stupid mirror. My mirror. <laughs> okay. And uh, we'll leave it right there, and then we'll do initiative when we get back. All right. Okay. Sounds all right. good. So, okay. so for all you watching, we'll be back in 15? Yeah? 10? Ten. Ten. Yeah, I'm good uh, with five. Whatever. I, I, I need at least 10 <laughs> So All right, let's do 10. Let's we do don't 10. need the details. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll see you all in a few minutes. And we are back. All righty. Let's uh, we got we got drinks refreshed. We got we got Advil imbibed. Let's uh <laughs> we even rolled initiative. <laughs> we even rolled initiative. Um yeah. now uh Monty, did you want to go ahead and read out what the uh, child's flute does? Uh, the child's flute. When a creature dies within 30 feet of you, a creature holding this flute may play it using their reaction. When played, the soul of the of the dying creature passes without torment. So I I am holding on to this flute. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it is. Bachelor's I have no turn. concept for how to play this instrument. <laughs> Just um, throw it. Maxwell, seeing these shadowy barbarians surround us all. Um, <laughs> holds out his flaming sword and starts to swirl it around and a rainbow of energy starts to form <laughs> around us and I'm going to encase us all in a dome of prismatic wall 
Okay. And I'm going to designate the four of us as being able to pass through the wall without problem. All right. And uh, what is the radius of the wall? Uh, the radius... Up when to I create... 30 feet in diameter. Right. 30 foot diameter. 10, 20, 30. Yeah, so it's basically... Basically like like that ish. Yeah. Does that look about right. And then as my bonus action, <laughs> I'm going to telekinetic this berserker five feet towards me. Uh can you see him? Oh yeah, I guess not. You can <laughs> you can move, yank, move back. Like move to a place where you won't provoke. But uh, I can only push or pull. Yeah, you know, true. okay, wait, I think I might have... If they even touch the wall, like, okay, if I come here and poke my head out and telekinetic this guy into the wall, <laughs> does, does that work? This guy? Yeah. Yes, that would work. Yeah, he would go down one square. <laughs> yep, and that would touch the wall. That would touch the wall. All right. I know he'll also be in contact with me, but I'm hoping that uh, Prismatic Wall does what it does, and it does right. it well. So I'm going to telekinetic him. And he has advantage on all strength checks and saving throws. Ugh. And that gets a 27. Well, darn. And then I'm going to <laughs> run back. <laughs> They're strong! It turns out these barbarians are strong. Yeah, I I I expected that, but I you know we're 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 playing a game here. <laughs> I mean, obviously we're playing a game. I mean, the game is to try to get them oh. to the wall. I, we're playing D anD D, but also the game in the game is to get barbarians to touch walls. All right, <laughs> favorite game. <laughs> right. Barbarian wall touching game. I asked you not to tell anybody about that. <laughs> All right. I'm going to step here. I'm assuming I can now see this guy. Yes. Okay. And He's like I, right, your your nose to nose. Yeah. I will. Um, well, I'm going to make some attacks. I guess I need to use Blade Song again. Um. So I'll do that, and then I'll make a couple of attacks. Okay. Um. They are going to be attack number one. All right, that is a hit. Okay. For... Oh, I'm sorry. You, you have, yeah, no, it is a hit. Sorry. Um, so 11 points of damage. Okay. And, and he will use his reaction. Okay. When the tormented berserker takes damage from a creature within five feet of it, it may use its reaction to make a melee weapon attack against that creature. Okay. All right. Uh, so he will. It's a good reaction. With his magical great axe. 28. Okay, I will cast shield, and okay. it will miss. Um, okay, and then I will make a second attack. Um, this time with Booming Blade. For that. That will hit. For this plus this. Oh, and I, I should also mention um, he is... Taking half damage from the bludgeoning damage. From the bludgeoning? Yeah. It's like okay. he's raging. All right. Not from the thunder damage, though. <clears throat> uh, the thunder seems to do full. Great. Um, I don't know why it's it's rolling twice for damage. Am I uh, misreading it's that? It's because it, it is giving you a... For the booming blade, is doing it for secondary damage in case he moves. Uh, for, your, for your weapon, it's doing it in case you're using your weapon two-handed. I see. So it's it's doing the versatile. Okay. Yeah. Got it. So so 29 total damage there Got it. on that attack. And then I am going to provoke and step back. Uh, well, he's used his reaction. So oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I forgot. Will not. So I will not provoke. In that case, I'm going to step. Yeah, I'm going to step right here. All right. And that's it. This tormented berserker. 
charges through the wall. He's got to make a con save against blindness first. Oh, okay. 20? Uh, yeah, my DC is 19. Okay. And then he charges through the wall. What? Uh, these barbarians have high con? What? <laughs> all right. I, this is my first time ever actually casting this spell. Um, do I just roll it? Yeah, I think so. All right, <laughs> and he gets saving throws against these. He has to make... Three. Yes, and they, they have to go through them in, in order. Hopefully they're not, <laughs> right. not bare-totem barbarians. So the first one is a uh, 38 fire damage. Okay, and what's the save? Uh, 19. And it's a dexterity? Uh, yes. All right, he has danger oh. sense. Cool, cool, cool. Makes it. <laughs> All right, uh, the next one is also dex, or they're all dex. Okay, yeah. so the next one is dex for 39. It's still half right. damage on a success. Okay, so uh, the first one was 38, halved. Next one is 39, whole. Um, <laughs> wow. And... 42 lightning damage. All right, uh, that will automatically kill him. Nice. Yeah. Okay, and, and I will he, use the flute. And can you? Um, he will actually not get through the wall. Mm. Um, he, he was unable to get through on, the wall, so you cannot see him. But the flute says I doesn't don't need to see them. Oh, it's just when a creature dies within thirty feet. All right. Oh. We hear him scream, and the flute starts to play. <laughs> We see Inlet, a little. I mean, you homebrewed this, so if you want to append that, Chris, nope, to say nope, that's, that that's required. That's good. Yeah, nope, that's good. All right, uh, layer action. Nothing happens with the layer action. This one here charges through the wall. <laughs> I, I, I will tell you that they die. <laughs> <laughs> and then you hear a voice saying, "You don't get to die." And he recovers full hit points. Oh, so. that's fine. That's fine. <clears throat> we got this. We have lots of uh, ways to get this. And he attacks Lire. Okay. I All still right. have shield. And he will be <clears throat> reckless. Uh, and he will be doing multi attack. He has not okay. used his bonus action, so there will be three attacks. Okay. Okay, my AC is currently a 31, so 35 <laughs> hits. All right, 19 slashing. Okay. Lord. Uh, can I use, can I replace my attacks with shove, or is that just one yeah. of them? One of your attacks. Would All right, like. it I seems, would like to. It seems like, here's the, here's the issue, guys. I, I just noticed this. If I don't have my reaction, there's no point in killing them. That is exactly where I was going. Yeah. Exactly. All right. Uh, I'm going to try to shoulder shove uh, that one out through the wall, the one just to the west of us. I'll move up to it. Okay. And I'll try to push it out. Oh, my first nice. 20, so 37. Okay. Come Hits on. the wall. It immediately dies. <laughs> and you hear... Not yet. Oh, still. Oh, uh, she yeah. doesn't have was, a reaction. I was, I was hoping maybe they only had one regen, yeah. one resurrection. What happens when they die in the wall? Do they like? Do they just keep dying while they're standing there in the wall? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like just getting constantly. And I think technically the wall is only like yay thin, right? So conceivably, if it's a five yeah, foot I, square, I, I, actually, I guess technically, no, technically speaking, this guy is currently dead. Uh, because he would actually, it was at the beginning of his turn that uh, it would happen. Pertinent uh. question, actually. What is the timing of their die? Yeah, because if they die in the wall, do they still have a chance to get turned to stone or sent to another plane of existence? Oh. Uh. No, I'd say once they're dead, they're dead. Okay. Um. <laughs> well, yeah, and it has to be, is it the same order if you go the other way? Um. No, it, it's always the same order. 
It's always in the same order. I mean, yeah, the spell I, doesn't specify. You're going to have trouble getting them through to that level of wall before they're dead. <laughs> 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 that's awesome I, unless unless you start removing wall layers yeah no so <laughs> <laughs> we got the full rainbow going it's beautiful yeah. all right anything else so, so i can't push it to the other side of the wall uh like yeah, out of the push wall it, yeah you push its body through <laughs> <laughs> just kick it, yeah. kick it through the wall as it sizzles and. So, so wait, the, they, they get up. Do they get up at the start of their turns, or do they get up immediately? Yeah. Okay, yeah, they get up at the start of their turns. Okay, all right. Um, well, well, so, so, I'll, I'll, was it just the one, the first shove to push it through the wall? That was my intention. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You had something right. you wanted to do. Uh, yeah. I want. I want to make. Uh, no, because they're going to come back to life. Never mind. Never mind. That was all I wanted to do, and then I'll stand back in the middle of the circle. <laughs> all right. Oh, this, is we great. Have this is great. This is I great. think <laughs> we're like we can't kill him, right? So that's all I can do. Did you? We've started a cycle. Did you cast bless on us? Eric? No, okay, I use. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. All right. I think this one is going to ready in action. Prospera. Okay. Um. What I will do is. Um <clears throat> Okay, so I can't there's no point in me readying an action to play the yeah, flute. Yeah, keep that reaction for cuz yeah. cuz it's a cuz it is a reaction, right? Um yep. okay. So I think that the um Okay. Any buff you have to throw out or healing or I have I have like I have Big B's hand. Oh yeah. No, that's gonna be. Um, yeah, I'm gonna cast Bigby's hand. Uh, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to um, just poke my head outside this end of the end of the wall, okay. and I'll cast Bigby's hand so that the hand is right there. And I am gonna call the fight. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 So one by one, six, um, six Prospero, rounds later, yeah, you, you, the, the last Prospero one flicks is all of the barbarians. And you notice that, yeah, each time you play the flute, there is an immense look of relief and uh, um, gratefulness on their face as they as they die right. permanently. Since we're calling the fight, I do want to say that. Uh, I was going to use my blade flourishes to use mobile flourish to because I also get to add ten feet to my movement. So if I mm -hmm. hopped out and around them, blade flourished them through the wall and then ran back in, that was going to be my big play. Um, the big but, play was casting prism. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That, that was a good but ninth I, level. I think all of us had fun ways that we could uh, throw them yeah. into the walls, and I think that was that was awesome. Good that was job, super everybody. fun. I, I really like that. Yeah. All right. Um, so, <laughs> you have freed the souls of a handful of pathetic slaves. Worthy of notice. Wow. But they were but servants. Still, but you've servants. proven yourselves formidable. Very well. I, too, have formidable soldiers. No, no, not soldiers. You shall face my champion. Face now the Shadow General and see true might. Through the shadow portal lumbers a massive creature composed entirely of shadow. A faint hum of power reverberates from the theater walls as this creature radiates an aura of invincibility. Bondar runs to, to uh, Lyrae and hands you his toy sword. I always play, play fighting with his sword with my friends, and my friends always make the sword stronger and stronger even strong enough to beat anything. As you grip the sword, a voice can be heard in your heads, feminine and stern. I name you my chosen. Take my blessing. All PCs immediately gain the benefits of a short rest. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, and this is the sword. If you could read it out, Colby. <clears throat> This short sword can be attacked with twice by expending a single attack from the creature holding it. 
Its damage doubles if another friendly humanoid is within five feet of the attacker. For each additional friendly humanoid within five feet, the damage doubles again. Two times for one friendly humanoid, four times for two friendly humanoids, and eight times for three friendly humanoids. I appreciate that you gave me this item. You know me and so well. Through the shadow <laughs> portal comes this creature. Ooh. Uh, query, is this happening instantaneously afterwards? And you should be able to see its hit point bar. Yes. Is that correct? We can't hear it. We can't want him? see the number. Oh, you can't see the number? No. No. Oh, well. You want us to see the number? That scares me. It must be yeah, that... significant. There you go. <laughs> okay. Is, uh -huh. this, is this the big bad? Is this the invincible one? No, it's, this one's only got 3,000 hit points. Yeah. This oh. one actually takes damage still. Okay, well. Is it, it in is... the prismatic wall? Yeah, the prismatic wall is a ten minute well, spell. Well, it steps so. through. It steps through the shadow portal, which is partially within the wall, so it would step into the middle. I think. Okay, okay. and we're all getting a short rest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah just so it can fit in, I'll, I'll step down. Good, because I've spent all of one key point so far. So, oof, good thing I got that back. Paladins get a lot back on short rests. <laughs> <laughs> I will actually do arcane recovery to recover some spell slots however. i don't know if it matters but i sing a little song about um how uh lee ray hit a child with a stick and um <laughs> it's our song of rest and we all right. feel a bit better right? i will expend some hit dice as well to yeah same i heal up that to, to full <clears throat> So now, you probably want to uh, put your yeah. token back to full. There you yeah. Go. Now, um, do I? I mean, I I know the properties of this sword, uh, in, yes. in inherently innately by holding it. Okay, that is correct. Um. All right. Friendly human within five feet. Okay. Is Monty? Is your Bigsby's hand still floating around? That's a Chris question. Uh, is the big, the big speed hand, hand still no, float? No, uh, it's a, just a one minute duration. So by the time the speech was done, it was yeah, done. fair, fair. <clears throat> now, is this in all other ways, Chris, uh, just a like a regular short sword, one d six? Yes, that is. It's perfect. not a plus anything. No. Okay. But it 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 is a monk weapon for you, so it's a d ten. Mm -hmm. D8. I'm only D8. at 14. Yeah. Okay. Should have played better. I better add this to my. Uh, I guess I'll just use my unarmed strike. And there are ways to attack with it with your bonus action too, I believe. Right. We're using. Um, uh -huh. That's my plan. Yeah, I'll, I'll stunning. Strike. I'll stunning strike probably, or um, because I don't have as a mercy monk the the things that you get to do come from flurry of blows, right? Right. Um. So yeah, I don't know what I'm doing wrong with this initiative. I click oh, my little right, guy initiative. so it pops up, <laughs> but it still doesn't translate. It's okay, Blorp. <laughs> some, some things are just hard for me. Seven, holy crap. Can anybody cast enlarge reduce on me so I can push this thing over? <laughs> uh, no. I actually, did I prepare enlarge reduce? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> and yeah, this looks a little bit like a Shadow Walker, except it looks like a more powerful version of the Shadow Walker. Mm. All right. Uh, so who do I need to add? I need to Blorp add... for 14. Blorp. I think again. I think I just keep rolling 14. I could be making that up, though. Prospero is first to go. All right. Well, uh, I think... Um, I'm I I'm I cast fist <laughs> uh, and summon a big beast hand because uh, I I wanted to use that spell and uh, and we're doing we're doing it so we're gonna we're gonna bring out the the big beast hand um, okay and um, I am going to um, muscle it in um, 
over uh we'll 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 put it down like over there i guess uh, okay well uh hang on i i think i have a pretty good token for that nice it is a, it is a large hand yeah yeah all, all right. right and uh, let me give you control of it there you go thanks cool hand cool cool hand um so cool I, hand, I create Luke. my yeah, yeah. <laughs> and i'm like miming what my fist is doing with it. yeah so i cast fist and punch the thing uh with with the forceful uh um with the forceful hand okay. um and so it um can I ask a question? Yeah. <clears throat> it, it, did we determine that um, that uh, prismatic wall is still up? I yeah, because it's ten minutes. I think you, you might want to think about doing something else with Big Zan, and that's the case. Just saying. Push it through, unless you can't because of size restriction or something. I mean, it's probably got a great. That's that's what I'm doing. Score, I'm, but... I'm pushing it. Oh, you're pushing. I'm up. just being. Uh, you said punch it. Yeah. I'm just being flowery with my, with my language. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I'm using the forceful hand to punch it into the wall. Yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I make a strength a check with the hand's strength con contested by the strength athletics check of the target, and this is what I want to know. Can I'm I? I'm going to save us a lot of time. Okay. The hand passes right through the shadow general. <gasps> okay. Ooh. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Okay. Hmm. 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 Hmm, hate that. I'll give you an Arcana check. All right. To figure out why. It'll be a DC 18. No. Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this magic stuff is difficult. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else on your turn? Uh, I will try to push it with telekinetic. All right. So we'll make a strength saving throw. 22 probably makes it. Uh, no, my save DC is 23. All right. You are able to push it. <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, so I push it into the prismatic wall. <laughs> okay. Uh, so There's... go ahead and roll the prismatic wall stuff. There's no size restriction on telekinetic, right? I don't think so. I don't think so either. All right. I, I hope not. If so, sorry that I ruined it. No, that's fine. So... We'll begin with deck saves. <laughs> wow. All right. I will just say they're all deck saves. Uh, so it's going to make three of them. Uh, That's all right. 40, 56 from those. Doesn't seem to be hurting it that much. And then. But it is hurting it a little. <laughs> it's hurting it a little bit. Oh, and it seems to be resistant to acid, cold, fire, lightning, thunder, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing. Uh, cool. Good. Uh, so, yeah, that's a. Oh, that's. Let's see. So it's going to take nine from that, and nine from that, and ten from that. That's twenty-eight. Thirty-seven, forty-seven, fifty-five. Uh, so I've actually removed one too many. It only has 2,955 <laughs> points left. Uh, did it save against the indigo and violet? No. So what are the saving throws for those? Indigo is going to be... With um, con and then whiz. Yeah. So con save first. Con and made it. Yeah. And wisdom. Made it. Okay. All right. Anything else? I, I mean... It's Prospero. That's still that, Prospero. Yeah, that was just just my turn. Uh, yeah, okay. yeah. So I will. Uh, um, with with that, I will I will stand stand beside you, Lyre. Go forth. Um, awesome. That's all Lee, for me. If if you could move up so that on my turn when I need to move up to make an attack, then I'll still be within five feet of you. Oh, so <laughs> I should be there. Uh, or within range of being hit by it, yes. Okay. It will use a legendary action and make a slam attack against um, against Prospero. <laughs> Sorry. 31 to hit. <laughs> All right. I'm going to silvery barbs that. Sure. 
25 to hit. All right. Still hits. Okay. All right. 15 bludgeoning, 10 cold, and you are knocked back 20 feet. Okay. Uh, fall off the stage. Uh, <laughs> um, Roswell, I'm going to give ain't... you the advantage on Sorry, how whatever. much How much damage? I, I or... resistance to cold damage, was... incidentally. Okay, it was 15 bludgeoning, 10 cold. Okay. Actually, uh, no, I'm going to give it to Blorp. That makes more damage sense. total. Okay. I was going to try something. Maxwell. Uh, Maxwell, all right. Um, if this if this guy's already touching the wall, if I push him back further, that doesn't do anything, no. does it? No. no. Okay. He's just going to sit here, and he's like, eh, that doesn't even hurt. <laughs> well, if I push him outside the wall, though, then he has to come back in. So... Yeah. I think we I I I'm not sure if we want to push him that much though. Because then we, he'll go after you. Well, no, because we we want to stick together so that Lear if we push him really far then then, then Right, then, then we can't get to him. We can't get the we can't get the damage multiplier from the short sword happening. Okay. Well, here's what I'm going to do. Um I am going to Okay, something that I've noticed you're doing, Colby, and maybe this is just my unfamiliarity with the spell. If I use Booming Blade, can I still benefit from multi-attack? Well, only if you're a Blade Singer. Yeah, you gotta right. be a Blade okay. Singer for that. That's, that's what you're doing. I was like, <laughs> oh, I didn't know I could do that. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. That checks out. Um, all right, I'm just going to run up, and I'm going to attack him with my Fiery Sword. A 20 is a hit. Oh, nice. Uh, so that'll be 13 damage. I'm going to add a blade flourish to that. All right. Um, uh, let me just roll that. So I get to add. Should be a d12. Yeah. So. Add eight to that, and that's going to be a mobile flourish. Um, so I'm going to push him five more feet away. All right. I'm going to move up, and I'm going to do my second attack. That which is a miss. Okay. At the end of your turn, he takes a legendary action. And he attacks you with a slam attack. Cool. Critical. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Ooh. Oh man. <laughs> can Ooh. I can I silvery barbs that? You or have I you silvery barbs me? Well, but I silvery he's barbs gone you now. But now yeah, it's but my it's turn. Now, yeah, you can use another reaction. I think I will. All right. Just a thirty-one. Uh, it still hits, but at least it's not a crit, and I'm right. going to give advantage to uh, Lee Ray as well. Okay. So now both Blorp and Lee Ray have advantage. Uh, 11 bludgeoning, 10 cold, and you are sent flying back there. I accept. <laughs> All right. Blorp. <laughs> uh, can I still see the uh, yes. Maxwell or Prospero? Yeah. Oh, oh uh, not Prospero. No. Do I... Do I need to see for bless? Think no, so. nope. you do not. All right, you're within thirty feet. Uh, I I lean back and go, blah, 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 and my tongue <laughs> flies around and just smacks all of you, and you you're under the effect of bless. Okay, wicked. <laughs> and that that'll be it. All move right, up. you will take a legendary move up. action. Yeah. Okay, at I least, move up at least five feet. I knew okay. there was a reason I married you. Takes a legendary <laughs> action and attacks you, Blorp. All right. 31 to hit. Um, Unfortunately, yeah, that one's going to get me. All right. 16 bludgeoning, 18 cold, and you are knocked back to here. 16. And I'm going to I make the... Is that one concentration save or two? 
Uh, it's just one. Well, okay, so 16 and 18. Be a 17 DC. 17 DC, constitution saving throw. Uh, you have advantage, Plus. or you have... Oh, yeah, we're advantage. still within 10 minutes. I still have... Oh, yeah, an advantage. I'll take... I'll just, uh, okay. 20, okay, there we go. Whew. All right. His turn. Uh, I believe... I'm just going to go ahead and give him another 55 points of damage from the wall. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Rather than take <laughs> 10 minutes of rolling it all. It's all little bits. Uh, he is going to enter the wall entirely. And... Uh, He's going to make a slam attack, then... But he does need to save against blindness, and he does need to save against the st flesh to stone, and he does need to save against the plane shift. All right. Uh, so <laughs> blindness is what saving throw? All right. Con, uh, con, whiz. Yeah. Okay. He's good. Okay. Um, Just in case. You yeah. Know, yeah, you know, there can always be so, a, a one. 35 to hit uh, Leray. It's <clears throat> 16 bludgeoning, 4 cold. You move back 20 feet. So that would be that way. Okay. And then he does a finger of doom, which uh, he can only see Maxwell, so it will be oh, at no. Maxwell. Uh-oh. Nightwalker points at one creature can see within 300 feet of it. The target must succeed on a DC 24 wisdom saving throw or take 26 necrotic damage and become frightened until the end of the Nightwalker's next turn. While frightened in this way, the creature is also paralyzed. Target saving throw is successful. The target is immune to the Nightwalker's finger of doom for the next 24 hours. It occurs to me the paladin is going to save you here because you cannot be frightened. I yeah. cannot be frightened, but I still you need to make this save. You can take it for, yeah, for the damage. <clears throat> um, and I get advantage. Yeah, and resistance. Plus right. five. And plus five. Yeah. Uh, plus a uh, bless yeah. D4. Yeah. Oh, plus. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you made it. You made it because uh, you're in the Paladin Aura. Cool. Um, <laughs> okay, that's its turn. Leave it. And yeah, cool. <laughs> it occurs to me that this creature is going to keep knocking us back. Mm -hmm. But what if it, what if instead of it, what if it can't knock us back? What yeah, if there's a if, wall of force behind us? Yeah. So it can't push us back. That would be worth a try. If I you're don't know sitting if in a chair, take... are you prone? <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah. I don't. I don't know if let's we'd just take... all have a seat. <laughs> I don't know if we'd take damage um, by level players being pushed against. into a wall of force, but <laughs> but we it, can, but we it, could try it. But we need the damage down. Yeah. What we because we could yeah we could try that i if you go up on your turn mm -hmm. then i i, I want to make i want to make some attacks on him but of course i'm not standing by anybody anymore because everybody got pushed back um sorry yeah, yeah. it is what it is it's um a puzzle yeah <laughs> So um, yeah, no, I like I like the idea of of a wall of force, Monty. Maybe on your turn, why don't you try and get one behind us? Or I could like, I mean, we could even just sort of position ourselves and wait for him to move up. You know what I mean? Put that wall of force. You could ready an attack. Um, yeah, and that would give me at least one. I would say that based on fighting it so far, you would uh, you would estimate its reach to be fifteen feet. Oh okay. wow. Oh boy! So, you know, if I put myself here, ready an attack. Um, problem is that would use my reaction, and I kind of want it for shield. But he got a thirty-five to hit me last time, so maybe it doesn't matter. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna I'm gonna run here to where Blorp is. Um, five, ten, fifteen. And then I'm going to ready an attack um, to attack him when he moves, you know, to, I guess, within reach, to within my reach. Although that's not going to help because he, if he has a 15 foot reach, I'm not going to be able to hit him, right? If he just moves up one square and then takes a swing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to use Blade Song with a bonus action. And I'm just going to run up and attack him 
and wait for Prospero, who's going next, to get that wall of force behind us. Um, although we kind of need, dang it. This is tough with a 15 foot reach. It's like we all need to be in position and then cast wall of force. I Do you know what I mean? Before he has a chance to attack us. I might have a thought about that. I'm just going to, we'll just, we'll just try it when, when it gets to my turn. Like, I don't want to, I don't want to have a too much. I guess we have a telepathic bond. So like what my thinking here is, is we don't need a wall of force to be a straight line. We could do a wall of force that's shaped like this. And then several of us could take position like that. And then that still enables people to run around. <laughs> <Are you sure? laughs> and or or we could or we could cast it in a dome and we're all just sort of trapped inside with him. Yes. The only reason why I wouldn't do this is that it means that at least some of us cannot get attacked at all. Or is he uh, trapped in there with you? Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. Like at least by by shaping the wall hmm. in this way, I can like it, by shaping the wall like this, it can prevent him from unless unless he has an ability to reach through a wall of force, and this covers us because if he does, like I would have just made the wall like that so that he couldn't even push us back. Right, mm -hmm. but I'm concerned that this monster actually has the ability to attack through the wall of force. Now, because... uh, so I I should mention with wall of force, uh, do do you have this spell open? Uh, no. Okay, so this has been pointed out to me recently. Uh, so you can form it into a hemispherical dome or a sphere with a radius of up to ten feet, or you can shape it as a flat surface made up of ten by ten foot ten panels. So you can't shape them in like squares. It's a flat surface. Hmm. Uh, Each panel must be contiguous with another panel. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. So it can okay. just be a line, essentially, is what you're saying. Okay. Like so, yeah. It, 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 well, it can be a flat surface. So yeah. do I think this creature can reach through all of force? Nah. I doubt it. Cause I, I don't think so. I would be, I'd, I'd gamble on it. I think you're okay. Cause, cause like strictly speaking, the best way to do it, like the, the, the way that, that helps us actually like not all get punched by this thing is doing a one straight line like that. If that's yeah. going to be the case. I agree. Okay. All right. Let's so, so sorry. It is still your turn. It's still my turn. Yeah. yeah. So I'm going <laughs> to, I'm actually though, what I'm going to do. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna run up here. I, I for my bonus action, I put um, I, I use my blade song, and for my action, I'm actually gonna cast Spirit Shroud. Okay. On myself, and that's my turn. I'm just looking them down, saying, "You punch all day." All right, twenty-four to hit. That's a miss, isn't it? Uh, for uh, yes, it is a miss, actually. All right. A sparrow. All right, so I'm going to let the Bigby's hand go down. I will move okay. up here. Okay. And what I will do is I will cast Wall of Force. Okay. Uh, so it's got to be... 10, 10 by 10. Or, I mean, sorry, 10, 10 foot panels. So yeah. what I will do then is I will make it like that, but then stacked on top of each other. Make it I, wide I, and I'm tall. I'm not seeing anything on the map. Oh, oh, you're not seeing the drawing that I did? Mm -mm. No, I did before. There, but I saw that. There. No, oh, it yeah. just showed up. So yeah, if, if I make it, because do you guys want to be able to run around this thing or not? Yes. Yeah. So Unless if, its reach okay. can do a sideways reach. There we go. Like hey, it, Monty. It, yeah. Could you move up one more so yeah. that you'll be within five feet of me? Yep. Thank you. Yeah. So, yeah. So I'm going to make it so that the wall is 20. How tall is this thing? Uh, the, it's 40 feet to the ceiling. Oh, how tall is this thing? Yeah. Um, it's about 15 feet tall. So if I make the wall 20 feet high, I can't reach over it. That is correct. Okay. So, yeah, I'll make it 20 feet high, and then it will be the... The length of it will be, if I do that, is that's not going to mess anybody up if I make it a little bit longer, like over here. Is that fine? Is that yeah, fine? That's fine. Okay. Yeah. 
Anything else on your turn? Um, no, nothing. Uh, you know what? I'll, you know what I will do. Um, I will use telekinetic to pull Lorp up. Does that Yay! help you? Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay. At the end of your turn, he does a slam attack through the wall at Prospero. Oh my god! Oh he no! He doesn't seem to notice the wall at all. Ah. Uh. <laughs> okay. Uh, now I'll give you an Arcana check with advantage to figure out what's going on. It's not real. Since now you have two data points. Don't forget your bless. And that then, will do it. Yeah. You think you might be immune to spells of fifth level and lower? Okay. But that's still, I mean, I would think anyway that uh, we'd still have the benefit here of me not getting pushed through it. So maybe we all just need to get on the other side of the wall. Yes. <clears throat> Alrighty. Yes, it, it, he can't get you to go through the wall. Right. right. Okay, so you're hit. You're knocked back 20 feet and you take 15 bludgeoning and 18 gold. Okay. And Maxwell? Your turn. How much cold? Uh, eighteen. Okay, so minus forty-four. Minutes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna run up, and I think. I think we ought to get on the other side of the wall so we can't yeah, be that's, pushed. That's just tough anymore. to also try to be within five feet of you. Um, okay, here's what I'm going to do. Um, do you have Misty Step? Oh, yeah, I do. Uh, but I had another thing I was going to do this turn to help out. Um, you know, I, here, here's what I, I'm going to move here. And then I am going to Vortex Warp Blorp yes. next to uh, Lyrae. Hey, okay. Warp, go ahead and move. I love it. Thank you. I was worried. And right. uh, yeah, I think that. And then I'm going to, you know, I'm going to give another Bardic Inspiration. Did you did you use the first Bardic Inspiration Blorp? No. Well done. Still holding on to it. Then I'm going to give one to uh, Lee Ray. Okay. okay. I haven't I... made an attack since the spiders. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think that yeah that 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 actually that bardic inspiration might be gone. Ten minutes. Yeah, because yeah. we took a short rest. Uh, well, well, I think we, no, that was a, a, has yeah. it been ten minutes or has it not? I'll say it, ten minutes is still going going. Okay, then yeah, it goes to Lee Ray. Okay. All right, and. A slam attack on Maxwell. 33 to hit. Uh, yep. 13 bludgeoning, 12 cold, but the wall of force prevents you from being knocked back. Nice. Lorp. Uh, do I get the sense that this is the same kind of monstrosity type of thing as the spiders? Um, no, you think this might be undead. <sighs> <laughs> Give me that sword. Uh, no way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like even with the smite against that, the hit point it, all volume. All these items are only useful by the person they were given to. Or to the person they were given to. Don't worry, I'll make good use of it. You'll make good use of it? All right. By the way, I wanted my spirit shroud to be radiant damage. You can choose, right? Radiant, cold, or necrotic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, in that case, I'm going to try to help you. I don't know if this is actually going to work, but I'm going to, instead of whipping my tongue around, I'm going to do one big from the ground, let my big banderhob tongue drag it on the ground and whip it up at this shadow general, uh, doing my channel divinity nature's wrath okay. against it as weird swampy vines come out of my tongue. <laughs> There's a saving throw, is there not? Yes, that's uh, uh, strength or dex, your choice, or it's restrained. Ooh, a 
That's a 15. 19? It'll use, it'll use oh. legendary resistance. Well, at least we got one of them, right? And it, it has five legendary resistance. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right. Blorb gives up. Uh, the Shadow General. Yeah. Come on, guys. <laughs> There's not... So he just does a slam attack, and this will be on Blurp. Oh, good. 29 to hit. Yep. All right. Be right. Hey. Here we go. All right, I'm going to make an attack, and I get to attack twice, right? Yep. I'm just going to use my little unarmed strike die here, since sure. it's essentially going to be the same thing, right? Hit. Okay, hit. And now it's going to do just double. It's going to do double damage. Only double damage. Double yeah. damage. Um, okay, so this plus this. Did it okay. do two? Did it do two? Yeah. Okay. Um, but I get to attack twice with every attack, correct? Yep. So. Hit. Okay, for this. 20. 20. And then I'm going to. Now, okay, here's the question. If I were to use my blade singer feature and use like a booming blade cantrip here, would that qualify? And and what I would I get to attack twice, or do I need to take the attack action? Do, do you know what I'm oh, saying? Like, kind, um, let let me just verify the wording on the on the item. You you would be able to attack twice. Okay. But you don't I'm see assuming the point of doing that since it is immune to all spells if it's lower. Right. Lower. Okay, so never mind. Thank you for reminding <laughs> me. Um, okay, so yeah, then I'll just make two more attacks. Hit. Or this. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. And you can just roll once. I'll just double it. And then with that one, I'm going to attempt a stunning strike. I'm going to spend a key point. It has to make a con save of nineteen. Okay. Probably should have done that in the first time, but um, did he just fail? Oh, <laughs> son of a legend! That's two. That's two. Okay. Regardless, um, because I used a key point, I'm going to then use my bonus action to make a weapon attack with a monk weapon instead yep. of doing unarmed strikes, and that will give me two more attacks. So hit. There's that to hit, and this for damage. Eighteen. And then for my and like I said, final just one, roll once. I'll, I'll that to hit, it. and this for damage. Are you and six? Can you 18. hear me, Colby? Nice. I can hear you. I don't know. Okay, you chipped away. A, a Colby jump, can't so. hear us. Can you? Colby can't hear us. Sorry, I couldn't hear you guys. My <laughs> thing came unplugged. Apparently. <laughs> wow, how long have I been going on? <laughs> that explains. That is. We it. just thought you were being mean. Yeah. yeah he told like, us how to defeat it, me. but only okay. you could do it, and if you missed it, oh. yeah. Well, <laughs> guess we'll have to wait till next round. Yeah. Yeah. No. Uh, what I, what missed, I was sorry. saying is, you don't need to roll your damage twice. Uh, oh. I, we just double it. You're just gonna right? double and it. And then okay. once, yeah, yeah, because once we start getting to like eight times damage, um, it's, it's gonna be yeah. It's sure. gonna be a lot faster. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Sorry Cross. about that. That's okay. Prosper. Huh. Um. Okay. Um. I am going to. Um. I really do not want to be in a place where I can be attacked by this thing. That's the thing that I don't want to do. Well, man. Never mind. I was going to say, like, run up behind me. Well, yeah. If it's immune to spells of 5th uh, level and lower, does that include, like, it just ignores the properties of spells that, Basically, like... Basically, yes. So, like, if... Okay, I'm just going to say what I'm thinking. If I turn somebody invisible, it can still see them because it ignores invisibility. That's right. Uh, okay. Unless you... Ignore the spell. Uh, what if he upcast it as a six level spell? Then I, I disagree with you on that ruling, but you wrote the ability and you created the creature. So, but I, but I'm not, but I, I want to talk about this after afterwards because I, that, I don't understand. I don't, because that in theory, would it be immune to shield? Yes. Oh, wow. 
haven't we shielded its attacks and shielded its silver? Or, uh, well, no, because he it wouldn't be targeted by um. Yeah, so it wouldn't be it's targeted. targeted. It's not targeted. Yeah, so that, that, <laughs> that, that's where I get confused. That's where my brain yeah, sort of. No, because like, shield targets yourself. Yeah. So if I cast invisibility on somebody, I'm targeting them, not the creature. So does that fall under the same rules as shield? Mm. Can I cure wounds you because that'll impact the creature's ability <laughs> to kill you? Well, let's let's. Uh, yeah. Let's that, table it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah let's table it. Cool. <clears throat> Um, all right. Well, I think, uh, you know, I, 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 I think the most straightforward thing to do, uh, in, in that case is to just double down on all this. Uh, and I will, um, um, I'll, I'll just interrupt. Here's what Jeremy Crawford has to say about a Rakshasa. Because of the limited magic immunity trait, a Rakshasa could stroll through a wall created by a wall of stone spell, but not if the wall becomes permanent and non-magical, a.k.a. undispellable. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. If he can walk through the yeah. rocks, it can... So, he, so this guy is immune to spells of... of, of fifth level or fifth lower. Fifth level or lower? Okay. Yeah. I will walk up to here, and I will... Force cage. Okay. Right there. Alrighty. And then stand there. Wait, I need to get Maxwell. Yeah, you'll be able to. Maxwell can stand outside the fo the force cage. Okay. Or I can or 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 do you want to be inside the for the the wall of force, Maxwell? Um, I mean, I need to be within five feet of everybody, and yeah, I'll probably go on the inside. Okay, All could right. I telekinetic him into the area and then Boop. put the force cage down? Yeah. There you yes. go. Yeah, yeah. It, yeah, you could. Okay, there okay. we go. All right, it will take a legendary and it will slam... Um, cage match! Maxwell. Yeah, hi. 40. Uh, uh yep. <laughs> you know, I was going to start using my defensive blade flourishes, but I almost don't even see a point. Well, sometimes he only rolls like a high 20s. Yeah, that's still... Yeah. I mean, I guess I can add upwards of 12 it's to It's Maxwell's it. turn. Uh, how much damage did I take? Uh, you took 20... 34. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, I'm going to move next to um, Lyra here. And mm -hmm. I am going to... Uh, yeah, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna just attack it with my big flame and sword. Okay. Is a and twenty hit? It, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh fifteen damage. Okay. And uh I'm gonna add my blade flourish to that. So this will add damage, also increase my AC by three. <laughs> well that'll save you. <laughs> All right, well my AC is twenty-three. <laughs> But right. three extra damage. And, and um, Blorp. <laughs> Blorp again. Oh no, is that a crit? That's a crit. Oh, uh, adamantine gonna... plate. Adamantine plate. Oh, oh nice. nice. Cool. cool. <laughs> nice. Ah, good. Yeah, I was waiting for somebody to say, I silvery barbs him, in which I would say, no, you don't. <laughs> 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 Oof, oof. Or unless you cast the sixth level silvery bards. Yeah. Right. All right. So you, yeah, just a regular hit. All right. And it's your turn, Blur. All right. Uh, uh, that's 22 damage total. Looks like uh, 25, 16, and 9 cold. All right. Minus 25. And my concentration, real quick. Yeah, totally. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Uh, Don't forget your bardic inspirations. Well, I feel like there's nothing else I can do. Most of my cool tongue powers are done. So I'm just going <laughs> to pull out my holy Avenger and just whack away at this undead creature. Sure. All right. And we're going to we're going to drop a, okay. a smite on him. Just a, just a first level. Okay. All right. I just uh, realized I never took my second attack, but anyway. Um, and I was forgetting to add. Please, please shot. continue. 
feel free. Okay, can I can I do that? Yeah, I feel yeah, like yeah. Just just click it. I'll. That was a hit. Fourteen cool. hits. Uh, then that's going to be another twenty-five damage. Whoops. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Every bit counts. I feel like that's right. It's down to twenty-seven, twenty-two. Oh, but this round he's dropping by he's, a lot this, more. This will be significant. I've <laughs> I've pre-punched the math on this one. <laughs> Okay, so so there's my damage with just the Holy Avenger by itself. Yeah. It's a uh, fiend, so it's going to take, or undead, so it's going to take 11 extra radiant. Okay. And then my D8 of improved smite. And then okay. my first level smite. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Do smites count as spells? No. Okay. <laughs> don't, don't even put that out there. <laughs> uh, okay. So, bu -bu -bum. there's. Okay. That's the first. Uh, and then the extra one d eight, right? Because it's undead. Okay. Yep. That's sorry cool. for the long roll. Okay, there we go. All right. And that's the first deck. And then <laughs> second one. Yeah. 17 still hit? Okay. Yeah. Alright, there's the regular now damage. With a 14. Yeah. 14. Yeah, okay. Did. Thank you. Sorry. Uh there's the improved smite. Okay. Here's the 2d8 from the Holy Avenger. Okay. And then I'll throw in. No, I I'll save this one. I'm not doing enough to make a mark on it. Okay. Alrighty. His turn. Let's see if his finger of doom comes back, even though it's kind of useless. And then he will slam at Lyre. Okay. Natural one. Ooh. Miss. Lyre, it's All right. your turn. Here you come are six now attacks. surrounded by three friendlies, so your damage is times eight. At eight times, and I got to remember. Bring a, a calculator out. That I'm adding. <laughs> okay, first attack. Less. Yeah. yeah. Um, Here's the damage plus I gotta be adding a D eight for um for uh oh boy. Um Spirit Shroud. Spirit Shroud, thank you. So oh, come on, make this easy on me, please. Where'd you go? There you are. That. All right. No, not cold, radiant. Okay. Now the radiant damage does not not get a multiplier. All right. So you okay. do fifty six <laughs> with the base damage plus two. Fifty eight. <laughs> Every little bit helps. Okay, second attack. Hit. All right, so that's eighty-eight. Do you want to just add like four for the for the uh, sure. um yeah. what's it called? So I don't have to keep finding it on my thing and rolling Works it every time. Okay. That's uh, your first attack. Yes, I'm going to spend a key point and try to stun him. Okay. Makes it. Okay. Um. I'm going to next attack. Hit. And that will be 72. Okay. Attack number four. Um, sorry, I'm hit. not even looking. 15 is a hit. Okay. Damage. All right. That one's a little less. 56. Attack number five. Hits, right? Hit. And damage. Ooh. Oh, there you go. 104. Did we just lose Colby again? I think we did. Those Naga got him. Turn oh, into maybe, stone. Yeah, the Naga. <laughs> He's oh, no. really thinking. All right, well... <laughs> His computer overheated with all those rolls. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how he attacked five times. He said he had six total. Did he? He didn't have any fighter, so he's got no action surge. Uh, flurry of blows. Flurry of blows um, would not allow him to use the sword. <laughs> His rolls are so... Oh, oh he's there back. He is. He's back. Hey. Come on, hey, hey, Comcast. Call, call, What's going we're, on? We're, Welcome back. We're wondering how you got so many attacks in your round. <laughs> it should have been six total, right? 
Uh, well, because, I, I had gotten to five, but uh, okay. how did you how do you get six? Because when you with them as a monk, when you spend a key point uh, on one of your attacks, it lets you as a bonus action make a weapon attack. Oh, that's right. Because I'm giving you two attacks on every attack. That's right. That's right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the last one is a critical. That's right. Okay. So that'll be. Uh, did I roll damage, damage for that damage. yet? No, I need Not. damage on the last one. Okay, here comes damage. Get a good roll. Is that or critical nine. damage? No, <laughs> give me another D8. Do, do, do. So 15 times 8. Times 8. It's 120. Sorry about the Brady Bunch switching around, everybody. When, yeah, whenever sorry, someone everybody. disconnects, and I have to rearrange all the. I, all I, the I don't know <laughs> what's going on with my internet, but whatever. All right, you did about punch. 600 points of damage. I'll take it. So, yeah, so so Lyra is just in there, just <laughs> slicing and dicing. Prosper. I, can, I will take the dodge action. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was thinking about that, too. <laughs> Maxwell. Um, you need the haste spell. I wish mm. I had taken it now. Yeah, um, I almost it, did. But I, I I'm surprised nobody took haste. It is sad. Um, would it work on me? Give me an extra weapon attack. <laughs> yeah, that's. <laughs> yeah, I. None of my spells are going to do much. I feel like I can't really do a whole lot of damage. You know, help action. <laughs> You know that might actually be worth it. Uh, does that give you advantage on only one? Just the first, yeah. yeah. Just one. Uh, that's not super amazing. Um, still kind of amazing. <laughs> <laughs> or I can also take the dodge action and just be here to support my friend in attacking. Because, like, I don't know, none of us are going to do 100 and whatever no. damage. 600 damage. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm also going to take the dodge action and hang out next to, uh, next to Lee Ray and let him. All right. He is definitely using his legendary to attack Lee Ray. Okay. <laughs> it's a 40 to hit. Hits. <coughs> Warp. Uh, understanding how important Lee Ray is to us here. I'm just, uh, going to give him a quick lick on the side of the face, uh, for death ward. <laughs> Nice. Okay. Sorry, Chris, what was the total damage that I took there? It looks like 26. Thanks. And the Shadow General punches Lee Ray. 25. That's a miss, miss, isn't it? Miss. All right. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Here's a star. Number one. Hit. This. I'll just tell you the armor class is 14. Okay, this time, and and I'm not even like I'm not even tabbing back and forth. I'm just like clicking buttons. So just okay, shout have... it out. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. So hit. Uh, did I roll damage yet? Sorry. Yeah. You did on the okay. first one. That times eight plus four. I guess if we're counting spirit shroud. Yeah. Uh. Second. Hit. For eighty. Third. Oh, that sorry. Miss. I'm... Oh, remember you have blessed though. Did I get a crit fail? It uh yeah, yeah not oh. and I you also the, have, I have a, a plus 13 to hit so i can only miss if i get a crit fail you also have bardic inspiration and but it doesn't matter you, oh yeah you yeah, can yeah, add yeah, yeah. another thousand and that one still right misses. right right yeah, right yeah, yeah. yeah you're right um I'm, that was I'm number three yeah. yeah um okay number four um this hit at that I mean, he should have played a halfling. We all know that. I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to stun him with this last one. Okay. DC 19. Fails. Has to use yeah. another legendary. That's three. Oh yeah. That's three. Okay, and uh, number five then. Oh, that was funny. A hit. Okay, for this much. 88. And number six. Hit. I like this toy sword. Yeah. <laughs> 80. And there were five hits. Uh, so that's another 20 from that. All right. Only about 500 that time. Okay. He's half health. We're, get, we're getting him. We'll get there.
Monty? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> you can just skip my turn until the combat's over. There's nothing I can do. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> Zero buffs. Dodge. You're dodging. Yeah, I, I don't have haste. I don't have... Uh, well, and I, we wouldn't want you to lose your concentration anyway. Well, I, yeah. at, th at this stage, actually, Force Cage is doing all the work. Yeah. yeah. So For Force Cage is huge. And by the way, your Prismatic Wall is huge too because it's a legendary action. He has that. Command of Darkness. Teleport. Ooh. And it does not need to light. see. But the mm. Prismatic Wall casts bright light in a 100 foot radius. Nice. So nice. I am essential and I'm only Absolutely. realizing it now. Amazing. <laughs> so Monty and I are doing very little, but we are standing by with uh, with powerful spells. Good luck, you guys. Yes, you, are. <laughs> you got this. You, you got I'm this. in here for some reason. You got anything you can do, Maxwell? Um, you know. I mean, I might as well do something. I feel yeah. like uh, him, I don't want to. I don't want to get him down to like thirty hit points and been like, ah, oh, we could. Yeah, okay, let's you know, uh, <laughs> let's attack. So that's twenty five. That's going to be uh, uh, twenty one right. damage. Okay. Uh, I'm going to add an additional d twelve to that, and also increase my AC by ten. I have All thirty right. AC now. Nice. Um, so that's 10 more damage. My second attack. Yeah. Uh, cool. 14. 14 more damage. All right. Uh, I guess, do I have anything to do with my bonus action? Um, he slams no. you, Maxwell. I'm going to, oh. I'm going to. I'm going to use my bonus. Uh, this probably isn't going to do much. I'm going to use my bonus action to Hexblade's curse him. Okay. <laughs> I'll do extra six damage, and if he dies, I can gain. Does a twenty-seven hit you? Uh, no, because of my sword All flourish. Right. Nice. Ooh, it did. Yes, I did a thing. <laughs> Lord. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use my action to uh, give. I guess just the. Uh, three within range. I don't need. To... Okay, I can get all of or, I can cast out of force cage or no. Uh, yeah, I think it's got the. Gonna hit Prospero with what, a buff. What are you gonna cast? Aid. Sure. Yeah. So that will get three of us, right? I, uh, I'm. I like. Yeah. I, I would cast it on the, the you guys because you guys are actually gonna take damage. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna lick myself and the others inside the force cage, and we'll each uh, get five, five. more All hit right. points. This is going Blorp's way. Five hit points. Yeah. Five. 35 to hit for 18 bludgeoning and 16 cold. Oh my god, okay. And uh, that's his turn. Uh, oh, let's see if his useless ability comes back. It does come back, but I don't see the point with you guys being <laughs> frightened. Here right. Okay, here we go. Attack number one. Hit. That. Four. And I will attempt to stun him. Right off the bat this time. Makes it. Okay, attack number two. Hit. Ready? Attack number three. Hit. D8. Attack four. Hit. Five. Hit. 64. And six. Hit. Or 64. And another 24. Okay. All right. Practically down. He's getting there. He's like a third left. Prospero? Pass. Oh, you want me to skip your turns. <laughs> Unless anything changes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Just to get a dodge. I should probably save some of my blade flourishes, but I do have that ability... As a high-level bard, I believe that I can just add a d6 instead of using my bardic inspiration. So yeah. I'm going to attack with uh, Flame Tongue again. Uh, that's going to be a 15 I'll hit. Uh, for 11 more damage. Uh, yeah. Let's add a d6. Oh, cool. I have 26 AC, and he takes six more damage. And okay. let's attack a second time. Um. Ah, 
darn it was an 18 to uh, i mean oh. it's still a hit but because of my uh would have been the crit on a 19. curse yeah. yeah so what i'm gonna do here is uh so he's completely locked down yeah uh there's nothing he can do to knock you guys apart from each other uh rather than us just go through and roll 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 i'm gonna say that he gets six more attacks and then you kill him okay uh, before he killed him uh so two on blorp two on lyre two on maxwell just, right, just so right. you know, in case you're about to kill me, I'm I was going to uh, lay on hands myself next turn. To... Okay, uh, yeah, you can do that. I'm gonna give myself fifty. Uh, in addition, you're gonna take that much damage: twenty-eight, thirty, forty-eight, fifty-seven. Fifty-seven total. Mm-hmm. All right, so I net minus seven. And two on Lyre. I think those both hit. Yeah, both would hit. Okay. And these two are on Maxwell. Currently, my AC is 26. I don't know if you just want to keep that for those. Sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. Those both hit anyway, I think. Oh, all right. Cool. <laughs> all right. Oof. And... That was rough. <laughs> On D and D Beyond, lay on hands pool. It's only click up, click down, so you can't type fifty. You have to yeah. click fifty times. <laughs> How much damage did I take there? That's. Um, it looks like you took thirty-four, forty-four, forty-eight, fifty-one. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I took fifty-four. Oh, all right, <laughs> and. <laughs> The Nightwalker, uh, basically, it it kind of uh, falls apart into bits of shadow, and give me one moment here. We're all kind of banged Shadow up. portal shakes mm -hmm. the very foundation of the theater, and it and it grows. Uh, within the portal, you now see a woman. She appears humanoid, except for her eyes of midnight, and you sense a power in her like you have never faced before. How dare you! My shadow general took me eons to create. <laughs> How did you defeat it? It was invincible. Toy I sword. see now you are no mere hero sent to save some wretched family. You are the chosen of my nemesis, Salune. Very well. <laughs> if that's what it comes to, you now face the power of a god. See everything my power can accomplish and the armies I can summon through my very will. Through the portal, four shadow demons appear. Each seem to be moving mindlessly, complete thralls of their shadowy queen. The longer you fight, the more powerful my army shall become. Semeth runs up to Maxwell. That's my mom, or what used to be my mom, but I don't think it's her anymore. But maybe she's still in there. Here, take this locket. It belongs to her, and it has locks of hair in it from Bondar and me. Maybe you can make her remember us. Then maybe she'll stop being bad. And the, uh, the dim light becomes darkness. And uh, we got... Four shadow demons have appeared. So are we fighting Shar? <laughs> yes. Not <laughs> <laughs> the first one we've got to kill. Ooh. All right. And it is initiative. Uh, what item did I get? Yeah, uh, the locket. Oh, oh, the locket. I'm sorry. Here's the locket. Hang on. And and you could read it aloud. Immunity. Dude, my initiative rolls tonight. Holy cow. This locket contains two locks of hair. When the locket is held, the creature holding it may use the reaction whenever a demon summoned by the avatar of Shar is reduced to zero hit points to remind Navar of her children. This causes her maximum hit points to drop by 100 points. This locket only operates for the creature. Yeah, okay, cool, cool, cool. So whenever a demon dies... We can hurt Navarre by 100 hit points. 
Well, no, you can't because she's immune to all damage. But you can lower can her maximum. Reduce ah, her maximum. Right. <laughs> right. Got it. Understood. It's a loophole. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I've got Blorp selected. But but he got a sword. All I get is a locket filled with hair. Useless. <laughs> but she doesn't have three thousand hit points. I remind you, I got a mirror. Fair. <laughs> it's only to look at your beautiful face. Oh, the question that is, are we all going to die before we can reduce her to? I to have fifty-seven hit points, so I'm yeah. fine. I'm at fifty-six. Huh. I could. I, I needed to be like lay on hands, healing myself, not lay on hands, but mercy monk, uh, hand of healing, or whatever. It's a good yeah, thing, Maxwell. I need an initiative roll. Right. I don't think I clicked on me. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. I'll lie to you. It's a 22. <laughs> All right. And Maxwell, it is your turn. Oh, good. Um, and all these shadow demons appear. Four shadow am... demons. And we're in darkness now? You are in darkness now, yes. Does anybody not have dark vision? They, oh, the entire party has 60 feet dark vision. Okay. okay. I am going to start things off by casting um, synaptic static on all of the shadow demons. Excellent. Okay. Nice. So we need uh, four intelligence saving throws. Go ahead and roll it. And I'm just making sure they have nothing against psychic. They don't. All right. One of them has succeeded on the saving throw. That'll be the one on the very left. And the other three have all failed. Nice. All right. So they take 25 damage and uh, minus D6. Minus D6 on attack rolls. I yeah. Yeah. I'll put a red <clears throat> dot on the ones that are affected. Okay. Anything else? Um. Do I have any cool bonus actions to do? I already used that. Uh, you know, I'm going to telekinetic shove this guy right here to okay. towards me. Towards you? Yeah, why not? <laughs> All right. Aha. One step closer to death. <laughs> <laughs> Not your best one, but it's good. Prospero. <laughs> oh, did... Oh, did Navarre not do anything? Nope. Navarre did nothing this round. Okay. So I was going to be cheeky, and when you told us at the beginning of this, uh, this adventure that our, our final boss was immune to all damage and spells, I was going to wish that they weren't. <laughs> <laughs> but seeing as how it's a, this is a god, I'm assuming that's probably not going to work. <laughs> probably a good guess. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so, in that case, um, can you wish for me to have like five reactions a turn? Because that would yeah. be cool. <laughs> or full heal us. Yeah, there you go. Wish us all to full health. Well, you have to kill a demon every round. I could wish you all to full health. I could also shape change into a dragon. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> so that is a yep. final fight. Come on. Um. So... Live your best level. Oh, what's, what's the gem one that's uh, immune to necrotic? Yeah, you don't know the next time you'll get a chance to cast a ninth level spell. So enjoy whatever you do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, um, so I think what I am going to do um, in 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 that case uh, for sure um, is I'm actually going to shape change into an ancient crystal dragon. 
Okay. Radiant. Uh, so you'll be uh, gargantuan? Correct? I will be gargantuan. Yes. There you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'm picturing that the dragon still has Prospero's yeah, face sure. on yeah. it. And glasses. <laughs> glasses. Prospero's face. Oh, and the little the dragon right. body Goatee. entirely, but Prospero's yeah. face and the glasses. Yeah. Yes. Uh, um, so yes, I, I and now I reveal my true form. <laughs> uh, is it your final? Uh, um, Never. Uh, you'll be able to be able to move, but uh, you have already used your action. Yeah. Right. Um, and so yeah, and I and I believe when I am shape changed, I can't use all these fun legendary actions, but uh, I still no. have lots of cool stuff. No, you stuff are. I can you do. are. You can use legendary resistance. But not legendary actions. Okay, and let me just uh, confirm. Uh, I'm trying to remember what what do I keep of myself, or is it is it a whole replacement? I retain my alignment. alignment. Oh no no you you retain um your class feature. It's shape change, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 You you retain all kinds of stuff. Oh great, excellent. Yeah. That's even Inclu better. Including including your ability to cast spells. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Uh, yeah. So we're gonna we're gonna have fun as a as as a dragon for for cool. an, as an ancient crystal dragon for for a little while. Uh, I think what I what I will do is um, I will. Th this is the 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 room is small and these demons are are flying. So I'll just uh, I'll I'll just um, I can now teleport as a bonus action. Okay. Well, so are the demons flying? Pardon. The are the demons flying? Uh, currently not. They're just uh, on the ground. Yeah, but, but they, you know what? I they have wings. I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a dragon now, so uh, I'm happy. <laughs> the demons go. Uh, and I think they're going to surround... How many hit points do you have as a dragon? Uh, 222. <laughs> nice. Oh. oh, no. Oh, no. Maxwell. Oh, no. Oh, they're going for the kill. <laughs> One. Yeah, this is the final fight. So we're going to try. If they can take Maxwell down, T -T that's that. One, uh, two, three, four. I'm going to wait. How, what, I'm going <laughs> to cast. Uh, I'm going to cast <laughs> shield. Okay. Which blocks, I think, only one of them, actually. Oh, well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, one hits will better hit than... you for 19. Cool. All right, Lyrae. There's a lot of living demons here. Yeah, I'm going to use my... Well, first of all, I'm going to cast... Um, uh, or I'm going to use my uh, Blade Song um, okay. as a bonus action. And then I'm going to use the Staff of Power to cast Fireball at the fifth level. Nice. And back behind, you know, back here, so that it essentially just hits these th three. Right. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So deck save of nineteen, and here comes the damage. Sorry, deck save of eighteen. One of them has succeeded, and they are actually resistant to fire damage. Of course, they are. Ugh. Flame tongue was a bad choice. Demons, <laughs> right? Yeah. Should have used lightning bolt. <clears throat> um, and that's my turn. I used yeah, my bonus action. Even lined up for you. My action. I know. I just. All right. Th this is where these I'm going to take. These are demons. Boy. I know. This is where I'm going to take a second on these. So. All right. So I'm going to step over. So I'm next to this one, and I'm going to cast. Uh, you see me lick this holy avenger as. Radiant energy shoots out with holy weapon. Okay. okay. Uh, let me let me. That's click a bonus it. action, I believe. Yes. Right. Yes. Uh, since you didn't give me an opportunity to use tree stride anywhere here, I'm going <laughs> to use holy weapon. <laughs> oh, I just clicked. It, it. Uh, I know. More, nine out of ten times, tree stride is super helpful. <laughs> I don't know what just rolled. Ignore all that. That was just trying to click yeah. the spell to go in the Very thing. Very well. Uh. So you don't, yeah, so you have cast it. Oh, okay, okay. There's holy weapon. All right, so first attack. But da da. All right, it's a hit. It is a hit. All right, here's the uh, the weapon damage itself. Okay. Uh, here is the holy weapon damage. 
Okay, and that is doubled, and he dies. Oh, awesome. Okay. Well, then I'm going to step forward. As a reaction, I hold up the locket, and I yell, Your children are ghosts, and you should be sad about that. All right. (laughs) That was very eloquent, Mr. Bard. (laughs) And her maximum hit point. She seems a little... Right now, it's just like, hmm. Like, she's... Are you just going to let monks beat your children with sticks? (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> uh and i do with the point it's is reduced to 100 with our psychic connection i say oh if it's a reaction if it's a reaction to do that we should get these all low and just take them out one at a time so if we just kill them all now you can't one right around yeah but i have a feeling m- uh, more demons might be coming so sure but we can we can still maximize we're level 20 <laughs> we know what to do uh, but I'll take it. I'll take my second swing at this one. Uh, but da, da, da. ooh, almost a crit. That All is. right, here's my damage weapon damage. Yeah, let's see that. Here's holy. improved smite. Okay. Here and the holy weapon. Yes, and there's holy weapon. And I'm oh, not. Wow. It might have even survived. It did. Okay, I'm not trying to kill it. I want an easy kill for the next one, so I'm not going to smite because of that. Uh, And I use my bonus action for the spell. So, yeah. Uh, Here we go! End of turn. Maxwell. All right, so my reaction is back, yeah? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to swing at the really injured one with my flame tongue. Okay. That will hit and kill it. All right, and then I I hold up the locket again, and I yell, Think of the children! Won't somebody please (laughs) think of the children? Um, And yeah, and then also as my bonus action, I'm going to Misty Step onto Prospero's back. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Nice. You should be able to... You just have to move my token behind uh, the layer of my token back so that you can see him. Oh, I can see me. Oh, maybe that's just on my screen. All right. Navar's turn. Navar uses God of the Dark. Uh-oh. Um, she can use Implosion or Warp Reality. She'll use uh, Implosion. She selects a demon in the theater, and it's immediately and utterly destroyed. She'll select this one. Boom. Then... Shadow demons are replaced with Nalfeshni. Nalfeshni are replaced with Merilith. Merilith are replaced with Baylor. And oh Baylor my are replaced with other Baylor. So we do want to kill them. Yes. I'm yeah. glad that we got so, it down to just one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so the three that were destroyed are replaced by Nalfeshni. Oh. Oh. So oh. Like, if they're dead. Wow. Okay. There they are. Shh. <laughs> Okay. Shoot. <laughs> I thought Astro. I thought we had this. All right. Well, uh, when in Rome. <laughs> um. Okay. So, uh, I am going to uh, um, majestically flap my wings and unleash a scintillating breath. Upon the Nalfashnis. Uh, they're all nicely lined up. And they are yeah, all so nicely li- li- lined up for me. Uh, okay, could you post that? Uh, yes, let me just uh, get the, the scintillating breath. Uh, that's, it's a DC, oh, did it not show? 22 constitution save, it looks like. Yes. And, and does it do something else beyond damage? It, it gives me 25 temporary hit points. <laughs> <laughs> can i borrow some of your hit points yeah right. so, so three constitute do you want to hit the shadow demon as well uh y- oh oh yeah. Yeah. yeah 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 okay all righty uh so the shadow demon's going to just blow up um <laughs> and it looks like one of the nelfeshni has made the save so this guy is gone this guy took full damage And it is radiant damage, if that matters. Uh, it did for the Shadow Demon, but not for these guys. And this guy actually took half damage. Okay. 
Anything else? Uh, and then I think I will, um, I, does anyone else want to get up uh, on, uh, on, <laughs> right, 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 the, how the, much, how much room is there up there? Do you I'm have a, a saddle? I'm What's a gargantuan creature, so, like, I, I think ostensibly, yes. Um, yeah, um, yeah, I think what I will do is I will just fly maybe around over here okay uh <laughs> <laughs> All right there we go yeah yeah i'll just fly fly up and around over over there and just chill out with these the, these guys you know what i mean Alrighty. these demons <clears throat> are all going to f uh fly up to this dragon and attack it i think yeah, yeah, bring it on! <laughs> All right, so they have Horror Nimbus, which is useless since everyone's immune to Frightened. So instead, they just make three Yay, attacks, paladins. one bite and no. two claws. Best each. decision I made. Uh, what is your current armor class in dragon form? 20, and I can still cast shield. <laughs> ah. Yes, you can. <laughs> yeah. All right, three bites. One of them hit for 29 piercing. Uh, what, what, should I shield it? Yeah, I'll shield it. That's, uh, it's a 28. Oh, hit. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't, so, so, sorry, how much damage? 29 piercing. 29? Okay, so that just blows through my temps, and I take okay. four actual damage. And then six claws. One. Two. Looks like two more hits for another 28 damage. Total? Yes. Okay. And I have no chance of failing my con saves. Got it. Uh, for concentration. Yeah, they got, they got to do a lot more damage than that, yeah. I think. To get, if we can get a crit like we got on Kelly earlier, maybe. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All <clears throat> right. Lyrae. All right. Um, this time, I'm going to use my Staff of Power, and this will be my third charge. Um, I want to do a Wall of Force again here. And and get both of these creatures inside of it if I can. Yeah, it's a ten foot radius sphere. Yeah, I think you can. Okay, so we'll do that. Hopefully, they don't have misty step. I guess we'll see. Um, and don't really have a lot I can do with a bonus action since I didn't take the attack action, and I cast a spell. Um, but maybe let me just um, wait. Remind me, Chris, at your table. Drinking potions, bonus action or full action? Full, full action. Full action. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else I can really do. Um, I, I, I mean, maybe I'll just run away at this point. Five, ten, fifteen. I'll just kind of hide behind. All right. Hide so behind I the should, dragon here. I should draw a uh, all the force there. So it's like. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Lorp. <laughs> well, seeing as I'll probably never be able to do this again, uh, my, my you you see me start going ah, and swamp water just starts pouring out of me as uh, my Gross. tongue grows big spikes and my, my eyebrows get like super tough, like a horned toad kind of thing. And ah, elder champion. And I use my <laughs> <laughs> my twentieth level paladin thing. So that, that's how I have always pictured that capstone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it's action. It's one minute. Start of each of my turns, I get ten hit points back. Uh, when I cast a paladin spell, it's an action I can just do as a bonus action. And enemy creatures within ten feet of me have disadvantage on saves against my spells and channel divinity, which is not available. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah you, got, you got to use it. Yeah. And and that's all I've got. Oh, wait a minute. Oh. No, I can now use a spell. Yeah, as a bonus. Woo. Woo. Uh, what do we want to do? What do we want to do? Uh, the the Nalfeshni that is closest to me, I am going to uh uh drop or no, grovel. Ah, <laughs> uh, command. Command. Right. Okay, so the Del Nalfeshni has magic resistance. 
So it has advantage. Oh, nat 20. Nah, that's okay. Worth a shot. <laughs> All right, Navar. She will use her God of the Dark uh, and begin with an implosion on this Nelfeshni right there. Poof. Did we just skip Maxwell? Oh, did I skip you? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I think I was moving ahead. Yes, we did. Okay. No, no problem. Um, I I mean, I'm just going to very simply try to protect myself this turn. So uh, Maxwell pulls out his sword and yells, It's harder to hit me if there's more of me. And I'm going to cast um, I'm going to cast mirror image, mirror image on myself. Nice. Um, so now there are multiple uh, Maxwells riding. The only thing worse than one road. Maxwell is multiple Maxwells. Did I, I hear you say would... better? <laughs> I wish this would help you with the dishes. No, they don't do anything. <laughs> they just look good. <laughs> Did one of the N Nelfeshni... No. That was the one he exploded. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Does that count? Is it dying? Um, it is immediately and utterly destroyed. Yeah, I'd say that counts as a dying. Uh, did, then I'm going to use my reaction again and hold up the locket, and in a chorus of voices from all of the Maxwells, <laughs> you hear... In harmony. In harmony. Your beautiful children, they loved you. Why would you do this to them? Hey, uh, it looks, you can see the looks on her face are now extremely pained as if there is some kind of internal struggle. Mm. And... Good job. Two Marilists appear. Prospero. Okay, let's uh, let's see if uh, the breath weapon comes back this turn. I don't know if I'll, I'll use it, but I just need to roll a d6. I do get it back. Nice. Uh, but I think I'm gonna actually cast some of my my real uh real spells so these are them if you got them yeah smoke them if you got them right um so what i think i'm gonna do <laughs> is um yeah these marilists are uh let's f i'm gonna fly myself over here with maxwell on my back <laughs> okay okay uh staying close to the paladin uh, that's a that's a weird, weird thing. <laughs> Maxwell's um, like, and then <laughs> I'm just trying to stay off. Can, can <laughs> sorry, is, I I can't quite tell. Is the Marlith Marlith in the wall? Oh, um, Chris? no. Sorry, it sh it, it okay. should be there. Okay, uh, I'm gonna fly there, and I'm gonna um use um. I'll, I'll just try this to to see if we can get this to go this far. Uh, I will just try to use telekinetic as a bonus action to shove that Marlith away. Okay. Uh, and you know what? That actually should be another plus five. I pressed the, uh, the ability so, check sorry. instead of the... I, I, I actually think I'm going to use the portent on this one. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. On, to, the, on the telekinetic. Yeah, to force it to get a two. Okay. Because once I push it over there, I have a second, seventh level spell slot, and I'm going to force cage them. Oh! Nice. <laughs> nice. Huge. I was like, where are you going with this port? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> it's a telekinetic, really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's really good for Blorp, because Blorp, Merilis do seven attacks <laughs> each. Woo! Yeah, and then I think we'll we'll just uh, stay in the just stay out, in the and then turn by chilling out uh, over there. Thanks, friend. All right. Let's so, finish off the week. There's one. only one of them that's not currently. So the Meriliths uh, have to use their action to teleport. They'll both attempt to do that. Mm. They have to make a DC twenty charisma save. I believe twenty three. Twenty three, <laughs> and they, they have magic resistance, so they have advantage. So one, two. Oh, geez. I'll silvery barbs that uh, first one. You got to it. Just, <laughs> yeah. Actually, you're on the dragon's back. You use yours because I might need my reaction for a shot. All right. <laughs> Although I actually use my reaction. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My well, we don't want you to use for. your reaction. Yeah. Yes. All right. Okay, yeah, so I'll, where are you I'll giving advantage to, Colby? Um, to Blorp. 
Yeah. Or, all right. Uh, so they are both still stuck. And the nice. Nalfeshni does not need to make a saving throw. Uh, mm. But it this does use its action. And the last Nalfeshni goes into tax support. <laughs> I think I got two hits on you for 39 damage. Ooh. All right. What was the biggest uh, one for my concentration? Uh, they'll both be tens. Okay. Uh, I don't think you can. Oh, yeah. I can't. I can't. Yeah. They're right. All right. I am going to, because I haven't done it all game, um, use my uh, what is it called? Blessing of the Shadow Queen. My basically my face step that Shadar okay. Kai have. Yeah. Um, Blessing of the Raven Queen, and I'm going to teleport. Go into the Force Cage. Do it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Maybe I should put myself in uh, here so I can be protected. <laughs> no, I'll put myself here. Um, and now I have resistance against all damage until my next turn. Okay. Nice. Um, and I will, though, make a couple of attacks. Um, let's see. First one, uh, sorry, is this 24 to hit? That hits. Okay. Um, for this much damage, and I will attempt to stun it. I appreciate that it's. Oh, yeah, that'd really be great. Likely, but um, DC 19 con. It has failed. <laughs> ah, stunning strike works. It's stunned. Okay, second attack with advantage. So that's elven accuracy advantage too for those at home. So I'm just gonna <laughs> roll three dice. Sorry. Um, no crits, but a 31. I'm assuming oh, yeah. will hit. Yeah. And for this much damage. Okay. Um, and now it is stunned until the end of my next turn. Lord. Oh, so I'm very injured, uh, but I get 10 hit points back at the start of my turn. <laughs> it's a big difference to me right now. Uh, and I think we're going to try to kill this this thing, right? Yeah, let's go. Lire is very injured and Maxwell is very injured. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm riding a dragon. Yeah. And there's multiple of me. I, I feel a little safer. So stunned. It, it's not paralyzed, so I don't get the auto crit, no, yeah, right? Just it advantage. gives you advantage to it. Just advantage. Okay. Okay. All right. So that's yes, well, a hit. Thirty-one hits. All right, and we're going. We're going crazy town. Okay. So weapon damage. Yeah. Is that divine smite? Is that yeah? Uh, Holy Avenger. Is that yeah? Uh, bah, 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 bah. Where's still a holy weapon. Yeah, I'm sc I'm scrolling for that two d eight. There's that. Yeah. And Smite I mean, him. yeah, we're absolutely. We're, let's see. Let's, we'll do it. We'll do a fourth level. We'll do a fourth level. <laughs> how how many? How, how, somebody help me out. How many is that? Five d eight. Five d eight. Six d eight. Oh, because he's a because he's a demon. demon. All right. Uh, roll. I'm just doing a a right roll roll. Oh, 23. not very good. <laughs> I oh. used my reaction, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Did I killed it? No. Nope. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Good. Cool, cool, cool. Good. Se don't second one. It. Oh, don't kill it. Well, I mean, because we, uh, Maxwell doesn't have his reaction oh, available yet. I mean, if you need uh, to But kill he's it. next. He's next. I desperately wanted to get some Baylors on this map. <laughs> okay. So... Desperately don't want you to get any Baylors on this map. So we're not going to attack it. I would I mean, say see if Maxwell can finish it off somehow, they and then don't want it. do what you feel is right. Of course. Um, well, I can't see its health bar. It's under. Oh, um, let me move. Oh, Why, like, can you hit it a little bit? <laughs> you don't have to smite. You could. Well, oh, can I choose to not do my my um, like holy weapon? The spe yeah, holy weapon. I don't no, think so. I would say that's not, uh, your your yeah. weapon is, can you, is glowy. Can you choose to not kill it? <laughs> Do not feel <laughs> lethal damage. Just knock unconscious. it unconscious. Uh, knocking it prone won't help you, right? It's, no. it's already stunned. So. It's stunned, oh. so you got advantage. I mean, do what you're gonna do. I mean, I, I yeah, I don't know. 
Well, it, so if it's stunned, I can go attack the other one. Then, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, you can. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. I'll run over here. And here comes... I hope that wasn't a terrible idea, but... Okay, there's the attack. It hits. Here's the weapon damage. <laughs> Here's the improved Divine Smite. Uh, here is the Holy Avenger. And for fifth, here is... Holy Weapon against that one. Okay. And then as my bonus action, I am going to cast a fourth level Cure Wounds on myself. That's probably not a bad idea. Probably not. Yes. 48 plus your Charisma. So 48 plus 5. 26. Uh, okay, okay. I'll take it. All right. Maxwell, you get your uh, reaction back. That's important. That is important. That's actually the most important thing I'm doing right now um, is talking. This, this one's stunned. So uh, it is stunned. Blast I, it. I, I can blast it. I was wondering, Liray, if there was any benefit to you becoming a giant ape. Um, I mean... Or would you rather not? Maybe not, because I'm as a giant ape, I wouldn't be able to... I mean, the hit points would be nice. I'm getting low, but... That was um, my only concern. I like being able you, to like make lots of attacks and stun and that's fair. All I don't want to take that away from you. I just wanted to save your life, but I you know, <laughs> Remember, he's got death ward. He's got death ward. Well, on. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I have death ward. Okay. I'm not worried about it. And uh, Blorp, same idea. You did just heal yourself quite a bit. You don't need to be a giant ape right now. Correct. And I've got my ancient thing. That's basically death ward. Cool. Uh, then yes, I am going to Eldritch Blast uh, this this dude. Right. Uh, which which one? Stunned one or uh, non-stunned one? The stunned one. Stunned one. All right, go for it. Uh, all right, so... That'll hit for 12. I'll hit That'll for 7. Hit. And that hits and kills it. Yeah! <laughs> You'll right. more blast if you want uh, to shoot the other one. Yeah, I'll shoot the other one. Don't forget okay. to capture it with the locket. I will. <laughs> I um okay, so I blast I blast the last one and I'm also going to push him 10 feet uh, away. Okay. Just yeah. Got Just it. in case that helps somebody. I don't know. Um and then I hold up the locket and I say Navar, I hear that being a mother is quite a beautiful thing. Do you remember what that's like? I'm running out of I'm running out of good fodder. It, it does the job. You, she is looking like she's down on her hands and knees right now, and kind of grasping her her head. Look at their beautiful faces. Yet she is still able to take her turn, and she implodes a Marilith, and then she replaces. And she replaces the Nelfanchi with the Merilith and the Merilith with the Baylor. And she will replace them right there and right there. <laughs> Bring it on! <laughs> I'm screaming in a chorus of <laughs> Maxwell's. Yeah. Cross Sparrow. Okay. I know. I know you're gonna groan when I do uh -oh. this. When I do this. Oh. <laughs> but oh, was I supposed to wait? So you said what it was. <laughs> no, no, it, it, it's it's all right. All right. So so we got this 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 Baylor rate beat behind us. You do. Uh, okay. So I still got. Okay. Let's just see here. Do I? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna use my sixth level spell slot to cast Scatter. Okay. Mm. Uh, so this allows me to uh, choose everybody and teleport. Uh, I, I get to choose up to five creatures. Five right? creatures yeah. to teleport. So who are the five you are, will be teleporting? I am three going demons, I assume. Yeah, I'm going to choose the three demons, and what okay. I have to just double-check the range of Scatter. 30 feet, I believe. 
So I got to move them all within 30 feet of where... No, no, no. Uh, you select targets within 30 feet. You can send them much further. Oh, I can. Okay. So I am going to um, pop... So I, uh, um, I, I guess they have to roll their saves yes, first. Yes, Constitution saving throws. All right. Uh, are you doing anybody else or just um, the three demons? Because you can teleport allies too. Yeah, yeah, and I'm wondering if maybe I should. Can we can we wait and see where the demons end up no. before you decide? You have no, to decide they all first. Have to at the same time. <laughs> but do do okay. but do I find out? Do what, what's the order of operations here? Do I choose where they go before they roll the save or after they roll the save? Uh, you can choose after. Okay, I am going to teleport. Uh, I'm going to choose to teleport. Uh, um. Lyrae and Maxwell as okay. part of uh, uh whoa yeah yeah you don't want me on your back anymore I see I see yeah yeah <laughs> I, I I actually think all I, right I actually think so yeah he, he's gonna teleport you all into the uh horse cage with all the demons <laughs> yeah yeah no all right no I think so so first the Baylor he does have advantage 32. Okay. That was pretty uh, then Can I silver then, uh, barbs it. Yeah. We don't want to save oh, you reaction. don't want to use your reaction. Oh yeah. right, I yeah. don't. You I don't. don't. Yeah. And I already have. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. And in no way use it again. <laughs> so don't don't have it. Do. Yeah. 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 Now Feshni also has magic resistance, but fails anyway. Where nice. are you hitting it? Uh I am going to put the Nelfeshni in the force cage. Okay. Uh, and well, actually, actually, uh, is is that where I want to put him? I don't know. This might be the easiest <laughs> one for us to kill. Yeah, you point. know what? I am not going to put him in the force cage. Okay. Um, I am going to put him right beside Lyrae. I like it. Okay. I still have resistance to damage, so yep. I'm not afraid. And, and then the Marilyn. Also has magic resistance. 22. Fails. I nice. have the Marilyn's going in the force cage. All right. And then Maxwell is going in the wall of force. Because that is the safest place for you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right? Because okay. you can still use the locket through the wall of force, correct? Yes. Yeah. Um, and Lyrae, I don't think you need to actually go any anywhere. Nah, I think I'm good. Yeah, that was just a contingency, just in case. So you just you just flicker where where you are in in place, and then uh, with all that, um, I will. Um, uh, I'm gonna stare down this this Baylor. Bring All it right. on, buddy! <laughs> that that's exactly what he intends to do. <laughs> All right, he makes two attacks. Uh, twenty-four. Uh, shield. He, oh. You block his attacks. There you go. Nice. All right, and then the Nalfeshni is going to attack Lyrae. Okay. What Bring it bite. on. And two claws. Terrible yes, roll. Miss, miss. Terrible <laughs> roll. <laughs> All right. Uh, and these two Marilis are going to try to teleport out of the force cage. They both succeed. Um, mm, I don't know. But that's their, that's their action to do that, correct? Yes. Yeah. I am go I'm going to burn silvery barbs on one of them because I haven't used my reaction yet this round and I'm about to get it okay. renewed. So it fails now. Nice. All right. Lyrae. Okay. Whew. I'm going to make some attacks here on this guy. <clears throat> um, attack number one. That will hit. Okay. For this much damage. And then I'm going to uh, spend a key point and attempt to stun it. Okay. Uh, DC 19. Fails. <laughs> All right. Now I will attack again. 
Welcome to Stun Town. Population <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, I so hits. <laughs> it's my favorite town. Um, <laughs> for that much damage. And then I'm going to spend a key point and use flurry of blows. Okay. Um, so unarmed strike the first. Hit. Well, let me see if I crit, right? Since I have advantage. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, no, I did not crit. crit. <laughs> and for that much, okay. and I'll add um, the poison condition if they're not immune to poison. They as are well immune. As, All okay. demons are immune to poison. Of course they uh, are. <laughs> um, so, so in that case, that last damage doesn't count either because it, it's... Po- no, no, no. It's necrotic no, no, damage. It's, are they, are necrotic. they immune to necrotic? No, no. They're not immune to necrotic. Okay. And then final um, unarmed strike here that is a miss um what if i use my did, was it, that a sorry, it's done so you oh have yes advantage. thank you thank yeah. you um for that that's much better that will hit um for this much damage okay <laughs> okay all right Blorp. it's done finish it ah uh, yeah i'm gonna i'm just gonna I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna do it. Risk the opportunity. I don't think you need to. You only need to take a five foot step. Oh my god! Yeah, duh. Thank nice. you. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm very smart. All right. Ah. And oh my god, it was almost a Ad- fail. You have advantage. Oh yeah. Stunned. Thank you. Oh, two. Roll two <laughs> twos. <laughs> with with uh, inspiration. Do you still have inspiration? You also still have bardic. Yeah. Uh, okay, feature, Bardic feature Inspiration. Set. We're at a 12, right? Yeah. 12. Yeah. Oh! Nice. I'll do it. That hit. All right. All right. Here's my five minutes of rolls. Okay, there's the weapon damage. Yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. I currently don't have a reaction. Oh, that's right. Because Can you ready you, your like, action right to do this? Probably what? Can too you, late I'm now, sorry. yeah. Oh, you should could have readied your action to do all this. I don't think it'll kill him anyway, so he should all be right. okay. Yeah, I go for it. Go for there, it. There's improved divine smite. Yeah. Here is a holy weapon. Yeah. And here is a holy avenger. Okay. He is still alive. Woo. Woo. Okay. Let me. I'm gonna. Can you? I, his health bar is covered up again. Sorry, I wish I had more reactions per turn. I apologize, Blorp. It's pretty low. <laughs> yeah, I see. How uh, roughly how much of its health bar did <laughs> I just do? Since I couldn't see it before. Oh, it was I, I don't know. A good twenty percent, I'm gonna I say. I added like ten different numbers. So I, I think, think you could go again. Okay. If you if you went again, I, you'd I, probably I think, kill it. No, you no? definitely you definitely he did over half of what he had left. Okay. Yeah. All right. So just go go for the Marilith. All right. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna swing at the Marilith. Uh I'll hit. Yeah. All right. There's weapon damage. Okay. There's improved divine smite. Okay. Here is Holy Avenger. Or yeah, and here is Come on, come on. There's Holy Weapon. Okay. Nice. And... Little chunk. Yeah, let's... Oh, shoot. Do we want to break it yet? Give give everybody blindness, hopefully? Go all out. We're almost... Let's, we're so close. Okay. In that case... uh. I'm not sure what you're saying by that. I'm I'm saying like like it doesn't matter. I'm saying we're really close. Like like we like yeah we're, we're... she she is currently at max 100 hit points. Yeah, we just need to kill this. We just need to kill this nuff null. Oh, what's the reaction? Okay, then then yeah, the I'm gonna br- I'm gonna break holy weapon, and then so everybody they all need to they might go blind. That way she can't if she okay. hits me. What's okay? the saving throw on that? Uh, that is a constitution saving throw, DC 19, and any creature within 10 feet of me makes it a disadvantage, or if they have resistance, at neutral. So, yeah, all right, so it cancels out. All right, yeah. so the Merilith that is within 10 feet of you. 
makes it. Uh, the Merolith that is in the Force Cage fails mm-hmm. and it's blinded. That's actually relevant because if you're blinded, they have to see the space they teleport to. Huh? Nice. Uh, and then. Uh, oh, how long does this last, by the way? Uh. You need to be on dice, go away. Uh, one minute. One minute. Okay, and they don't get it, that. No additional saves or anything. On this, uh, at the end of each of its turn, a blinded creature can make a con save. Okay, already. Uh, and so it's. Nice. I have a blinded icon here somewhere. There if they go. fail the save, they take twenty radiant damage. If they and pass the save, they take ten. And oh, okay, and they take damage. All right, yeah. and Nelfeshni. I didn't think ten would be enough to kill it. <laughs> no, I think you're good. Made can it. I can I drop concentration on my wall of force? Oh, uh, if you want. I think I would because it's Maxwell's turn, right? Um, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, I'm dropping it. Okay. Nobody. The oh, has man. made it. Okay. okay. Are you trying to give me a sign that I should be? Murdering? <laughs> wall of force is down. The, the the goalie's been pulled. It's just <laughs> all you gotta yeah. do is tap it in. Just yeah, tap it's it's, it in. it's stunned. Everybody's done everything they can so that you can yeah. kill this thing. All right. Uh, <laughs> this is my turn. This is yes. my turn. Crossbow. Okay. No. <laughs> be a swords uh, bard that you were meant to be. Five Maxwells run screaming towards. <laughs> The Nefeshni, all drawing our flaming blades. And, um... You have advantage. advantage. Yeah. That will Um, hit. Cool. So we'll take the... 18 damage. 18. I'm going to show you its health bar. (laughs) (laughs) Is that it? Is that, or is it a lot? No, no, it has one hit point left. Oh my god. (laughs) One you more know attack. what? Second attack. Come on. No, not even. I'm going to use a blade flourish as I oh, dance. And I'm going to use portent to make sure you roll an 18. <laughs> so you can't <laughs> deep... roll a one. So you don't roll two ones. No, it's right. my, my, my blade just, flourish yeah. adds a d12. Oh, really? Oh, yeah, there you go. And I rolled a 12. Wow. And then you use your uh, action, and you probably want to ready an action or cast a, a reaction spell of some kind. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. cast a silvery barbs for no, no. I'm gonna. <laughs> I hold up the amulet and I yell, "You should be better for your children. You're a terrible mother. Look what they've become." And I and I show her the locket with the two uh, hair strands in it, and I. I smush it into her face as I yell, <laughs> do better. As Navarra's hit points are reduced to zero, she falls to her knees with a look of pain. How? But I cannot be defeated. The roof and walls of the theater shatter and the unnatural darkness of the theater is replaced with the natural blackness of night. Navarra's pools of obsidian once filling her eyes have faded, revealing eyes of amber. And the look of pain fades to one of relief. As it does, the portal around her implodes with a loud sucking sound. Slowly rising from the body, a ghostly form of the same woman, except now her face is kind. Tears streak down her face as she smiles at her two children. Bonder and Simith grin and race to their mother, embracing her. As clouds pass above, the moon is revealed and a beam of moonlight strikes the trio who all dissipate within. A female voice, benevolent yet strong, rings down from the heavens above. You have done well, my chosen, and my sister is thwarted. But be ready, for should she return, I will be calling on you once again. That, end of the session. I lick everybody. (laughs) And and by the way, on her next turn, she was going to do this, and put the no fashion in the uh, <laughs> anywhere else in the theater. <laughs> <laughs> oh dang, that was awesome. That was yeah, fantastic. I had so much fun. Yeah, I right. I penned Glad the greatest you. poem ever made called uh, "The Savior of the Children." I don't know. Make a performance uh, check to see if you actually penned the greatest poem ever made. It's all about me, <laughs> or if it's just a tribute. 
Uh, it was, I got a 21. <laughs> it wasn't my best work, you know? <laughs> People were really confused when I, I tried really specifically to make Lee Ray sound like uh, they were... Not specific- beating up little yeah. kids. I there was so a line in there. our timing. Yeah. 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 Five combat encounters and four... Less than four hours. <laughs> yeah, we have we, we barely got through with one combat first. encounter in less than four hours at my five? table. That was five combat encounters. Huh? <laughs> there were yeah. five encounters. Uh, the shadow spiders, which was an easy one, right? Like that was. Yeah, sure. I like the first combat to be kind of a, a little warm up. Test the yeah. waters um, combat. They were yeah. all right? easy. Uh, um, yeah. Nobody <laughs> got. Nobody got knocked out. Yeah, yeah, nobody got we all got. We, no, two, no, three of us. Three out of four of us got very close. Pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was very afraid. Yeah. Yes. Uh, the I, second I, fight was the Nightmare Nagas. Uh, the third fight was the Barbarians. I got um, us on the Nagas. Yeah. Prismatic Wall was Prismatic uh, wall. the fourth, the fourth the fight was the Shadow General. And right. The fifth yeah. fight was the Demons. I think the Shadow General was the most frustrating of all of them. Yeah, that was yeah. tricky. Yeah. The, the, yeah. The, the Wall of Force was clutch there. Well, the, the, the puzzle is like you just can't do the. the, the the we, goal I, we, has to be to try to get it so that when the sword is used, you got the people beside. Oh, you. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, and, and the force cage slash um, oh, force. prismatic wall, all the force, yeah, yeah, did the job. Right? Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So we 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 got it. We uh, we figured it out. We solved the riddles. Oh, that, that was, was super there, fun. there were a number of different fun. ways you could have done it. Like there's always like uh, you could hold action vortex warps and. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there were multiple multiple mm. solves, but the the force even, cage even was the easiest. Movements, right? Force cage is always the easiest. <laughs> <laughs> I still no, I, I still had one more in the tank too. <laughs> <laughs> I also had a force cage that I was actually right before. So right before uh, Colby, you dropped the um, mm. the wall around me, the wall of force. I was going to force cage the uh, like one of the demons just to clear up room for us no, um yeah, but then the you there. oh i i had a lot of fun being able to like uh, get kind of the best of both worlds of you know having at least those low level level wizard spells with some fun monk abilities i didn't i didn't fail a single saving throw that entire game <laughs> like my <laughs> armor class your, was your, like a 31 characters i'm like well, they're going to make every saving throw. Yeah. Well, yes, like, you, I, you always say that. You're like, you know, I like to make my saving throws. Exactly. I do like to make my saving throws. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know and, I, and you know, there were some important, because like those nightmare nagas, they petrify you. And right? I, I forgot I had the lucky feet. I didn't, I like, oh. there you oh, go, no. Kelly. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Yeah. And I got to stun stuff and mm-hmm. make lots of attacks. So. I mean, it's like, and the immune to frightened came into effect multiple times because yes. the uh, the shadow spiders that are they're webbing if they pull you in would frighten you, Ooh. and then the the nightmare negas also had a frightened effect, and then the shadow general had a frightened right. effect too. Right. So, oh wow! Yeah, it huge. came into effect several times. Um, yeah, so that passive was really power. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'll tell you, Colby, that I had most of the things you fought were not immune to poison. <laughs> the, the problem is when you have a staff of power right and yeah. and when you and when your bonus action heavy like my character was it's hard to you know be just doing all of the hand of harm stuff that mercy monks would typically be doing yeah. um because you're just like well i could cast force you know wall of force or fireball or lightning bolt you know instead of take the attack action and you got to take the attack action if you want a flurry of blows but anyway, but but like I have no complaints about that. Like I, my favorite kind of characters to play are ones that have a lot of options in combat, right? And so you're yeah. not just doing the same thing every time. It's like yeah. I'm going to throw out a spell this time. Okay, this time I'm going to make some attacks, and now I'm going to teleport over here, and you know, so yeah, tons of fun. I, I I do feel like for for myself sometimes the thing that I and I this all came rushing back to me like being behind the wheel of a, of a, of a 20th level wizard again. It's like there, you, there is a point where like the options are really high and, and you end up in like that, that sort of XCOM mode where you're like, there is a right move here yeah. and you're trying to think, but, of, but you have decision paralysis. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Then you do Ray of Frost. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then you're like, yeah, right. But, um, 
<laughs> but you know, right? And, and and I definitely think in er, in early encounters, especially, it's one of those situations where where like especially in high level play where when you know you're going to get to five encounters you're like how long can i go before i really empty the gas tank because it's really easy mm -hmm. to want to just drop everything down and then when you see an encounter where you get to use four like a ninth level high level spells yeah when yeah. You, yeah right I, I knew i wanted to cast prismatic wall so i found an opportunity in time. <laughs> yeah. i was, was saving my holy weapon yeah yeah. yeah, but yeah. honestly, jumping into a twentieth level character, I know I forgot a bunch of stuff. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, yeah. I I don't even know. Like, I didn't even cast my eighth, seventh, or sixth <laughs> level spells. <laughs> yeah. Um, there didn't seem like a good chance for Feeble Mind, although there probably was. Um, and yeah, I I also had my Force Cage and Reverse Gravity, but the Reverse Gravity. There was a play there, but it never really, never really came up. But I think we got to do our thing anyway, Monty. With, yeah. uh, I mean, we won a combat with a prismatic wall, wall in yeah. Bixby's yeah. hand. I, I have to say, I wasn't expecting like, 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 because uh, we were in one environment like the whole time, yeah. Yeah. right? Yeah. So that that was the that was that was the thing. Like reverse gravity, you really want to like hopefully have like the right setting. Setting, yeah. 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 But that said, like uh, super cool and interesting combats that were more than just like lots of monsters that hit really hard. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like yeah. uh, some those those puzzle aspects really made it fun to kind of mm -hmm. go, okay, like we got to not only hit I, hard, I was, but I also figure so out. I hard that you do a reverse gravity on a prismatic wall on those barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then they'd all just come back. <laughs> and then they just all come back. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. I right. like that you that even got a little. Even, no, no, it wouldn't even worked. Like my big play there wouldn't have worked against the barbarians. I don't think oh, there was a yeah. single creature that it would have worked really well on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that you even got some exploration right at the very start. Right, like we knew, you know, we're all twentieth level. We're going to the see it theater. And Something's going to happen. And smack the kid in the face. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we got our little social. Yeah, with yeah. The that stick. was a bit of a surprise. I was I not had, expecting I, an I, attack I on a, them. I had a plus eleven to my stealth. I, I wanted to. <laughs> Take advantage of a, surpri of a surprise if I round. There's only one way round, I'm getting but... a surprise this this session. That's uh, right. That's right. <laughs> session. No, that's going to be the most memorable moment of this whole session. Oh, is, yeah. Uh, people on, will remember the time Colby beat a. <laughs> when's the last time you watched a horror movie and there was a child who was also a ghost that wasn't like this incredibly evil and vicious thing. No, I know. I yeah. know. Like, yeah. I surely, understand why you did it. As soon as it, it sees us, it's going to turn into something crazy monster so like i'm just gonna take the opportunity to <laughs> whack it and then it just starts crying and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh that was great that was so good <laughs> yeah the uh, uh um the the ancient the the ancient uh crystal dragon is sweet for shape mm -hmm. change too yeah yeah that was great yeah and you did nice damage with that breath weapon yeah yeah uh, yeah well, oh. well, thanks again for everyone to come and yeah. join my celebration. Thank Congratulations you. again. Well yeah. deserved. Congrats, Chris. Yeah. yeah. And thank yeah. you. Congrats. It was, it was a lot of fun. Thanks for inviting us. Yes. Th thank you so much for inviting me. Oh, and uh, <laughs> we should, we should, uh, by the way, um, so Fry Minis, which is Eric's <laughs> channel, was one <laughs> subscriber short of 4,000. Uh, so... You know, at least some of you go over there and subscribe right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you Absolutely. for all of you still watching at this point. <laughs> <laughs> and if everyone else would like to maybe just call out their channels. Dungeon Dudes. Uh, yeah. So Monty and myself, we are the Dungeon Dudes. And uh, if you do not know us, we create video content for Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition with DM tips and player advice. Uh, you can check us out at Dun well, Dungeon Dudes on YouTube, but you can also check us out on Twitter, Instagram, and you can also join our Patreon and join us on Discord, which is exclusive for our patrons. And then you can chat directly with us about all of the fun things, uh, character creation, our live play, uh, which is now Fate of Drakenheim Season 3. If you haven't checked out Dungeons of Drakenheim and Shadows of Drakenheim, uh, you should definitely check those out. And also, uh, we have a book, 
Dungeons of Drakenheim as well that you can check out at drakenheim.com. Uh, so that's a lot of call outs, a lot of shout outs. Um, <laughs> and yeah, definitely, if you do not follow the rest of these fine gentlemen, you should. They all have amazing D&D channels and we love playing with them. Yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm a D4 D&D deep dive. Um, I put out a weekly video that's basically a character build, a, a deep dive into a single character each week that's usually built for uh something that's both fun and powerful to play in game not always damage sometimes support sometimes tanking etc cetera, etc cetera. um but i do do have a sister channel with my friends as well where we do our actual play DD campaign it's called tales of aneria a-n-e-r-i-a um and that's a lot of fun if you're looking for another game to follow and watch and, and enjoy um so yeah that's 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 me and I'm Chris. I've got a channel called Treat Monk's Temple. I do theory crafting, rules analysis, uh, some builds, a bit of whatever I feel like. Uh, and yeah, I just hit 50k and would sure appreciate anyone who wants to come and start getting me past that. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff. Uh, Good stuff. Yeah. And, and Eric? Yeah, so Fry Minis, I'm Eric. Fry Minis is two people. It's me and then my wife, Julie. Uh, we, we stream a lot. We do uh, product reviews. We get the books from uh, Wizards of the Coast. We get the minis from WizKids. We do all that kind of stuff. We paint. Uh, we have a lot of fun, and we're, we're focused on making your table a more welcoming environment for everybody. And we have a painting contest, too. If you check us out at Fry Minis, you can go and you can enter that and win gift cards and stuff like that. And if you really like Bander Hobbs, we have we have some PDFs, some that you can buy, and uh, patrons get it for free. Uh, but we have a bunch of uh, Bander Hob PDFs for free. We have a race called the Bander Born. We have a Path of the Bander Hob Barbarian, and we have a whole uh, PDF of items themed around like Bander Hob parts and stuff like that. And it's all nice. free. Fryminis.com. You like Bander Hobbs, but you won't like them more than Eric. <laughs> no, you, well, <laughs> my wife is she she's the big uh, Bander Hob super fan uh but yeah check us out here on youtube twitter everywhere prime minis uh, i don't think i knew that you were that big of a banderhub fan i like going uh, into tonight i was like oh he really likes banderhub <laughs> they like banderhubs yeah uh they're in in her office we've got a whole bunch of banderhub minis and oh, wow. <laughs> and she she made these uh banderhub eyes amazing yeah, yeah congrats on being the only person who cosplayed yeah <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> Like in quotes, like yeah, more something. Yeah, I or should have thing. given in inspiration for that. I didn't even yeah. think about it. Oh yeah. Well shout out to Julie. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. All right. And I think that's it. So uh we're right on time too. Yeah. So, great yeah, game. Amazing. Thanks again. <laughs> good, good night, thanks, everyone. Guys. Good night, everybody. All right. Have a bye. Good